Okay, now that we got that out of the way, but that's a lie, because I know it's not out of the way. You know, people are gonna keep asking, but that's that's life. You gotta you gotta uh, get be ready for that. There is a command in chat. Um, if people come in asking questions, just use the command if you could, um, and you know try to be a little tolerant of uh, of I guess people being curious because that only makes sense. <clears throat> Actually, I wanna I wanna watch the demo loop. Um, there's a really cool intro video with a really cool song, and I shouldn't have just skipped it. Um, why Silent Hill? Well, Silent Hill is an awesome game. Silent Hill Four is actually one of the more interesting ones because it starts playing with some of the uh, some of the themes and concepts about Silent Hill in general, which is really cool. Uh, in in most Silent Hill games, you kind of like Silent Hill as a place is a is a city that sort of literalizes your internal demons and it, it manifests them and make them real. Um, in Silent Hill 1, you're sort of living under the the projection of a very evil demon baby. Not to spoil it. Um, 2 is something else entirely. Uh, you're kind of living in a projection of your own character's uh, guilt and, and disgust and all that. 3 is kind of a literal sequel to, to 1, uh, but again, kind of in, a, in demon land. And then 4 is really fascinating because you're going into somebody else's nightmare. Um, it also kind of... Ah, this music is so good. Are there a lot of jump scares? No. Silent Hill is more about creeping dread than it is about spooking you. Like, what? Well, it's not really like that. I'm gonna stream Rockman for any time soon, probably. Silent Hill isn't really that scary. No, it's much more unsettling than scary. It presents you with a variety of very disturbing imagery and, and music and sounds, more than just trying to like outright scare you. Is this an FMV? No. I'm kind of surprised there's a lot of people that don't seem to know much about Silent Hill. Is my mic overblown, by the way? Um, let me know if let me know if it is, because I did move some stuff around and I think I may have nudged the volume knob. Okay, great, thank you. What's with the stream's title? It will make sense soon. It will make sense soon. There's a big evil hole in this game. Uh, you know, and certainly. The irony is not lost on me. <laughs> oh, fuck this song, man. Oh, I'm getting chills. Like, I'm actually getting goosebumps hearing this again. Yeah, Ilyondo, it's, you typed out the vagina in all caps. Yonic imagery is totally a thing in this game, and there's absolutely a reason. Uh, I don't want to spoil it or, like, provide my... I'm chewed up uh, pretty bad, and I think my leg's rings. broken. Curtains. So you better go. I don't want to like me. spoil it by providing my analysis, but um, given that given that Silent Hill is sort of a place where ideas and concepts, and certainly internal demons, are projected and literalized, the vaginal imagery in this game is a big deal. I'm not playing on an emulator, Action Bot. This game actually came out on PC for real. I mean, it did back in the day. The PC port was not great. Um, that's that's Konami being Konami, I guess. But uh, good old games. Actually got the rights and published it. Um, somehow good old games. God bless CD Projekt, I guess. Uh, disclosure. You know, there's this is a CD Projekt household, but... Uh, they found a way to like strike deals with Konami to get Metal Gear on PC and Silent Hill, so... This is the Silent Hill where the rabbit on the bed can be seen through the perv hole, right? I don't remember that specifics, so we'll see. No, oh, I'm covering up part of that. No, you can read most of it, okay. It was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Oh, should have gotten reading earlier, but five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. 
Oh, why did I stop using the cyberpunk chair? This one's more comfortable. The one, the the cyberpunk chair, unfortunately, was was causing some like weird back issues. So, given that I I'm getting older and I and I'm sitting in it for like ten to ten to twelve hours a day, I had to kind of find something that was just super super fit with me. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I was already scared, I guess. Um. It's, uh, it, this is an old game. I don't, isn't there a way to, like, look around? This analog stick, where, oh boy, it's the trigger, so, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, there was, there was a fun period, uh, not a lot of people remember the period of, of any game in first person before Halo. <laughs> but it was something else. So, this, yeah, triggers to look around, it, hey, it's an old game. Um, at least it runs properly in widescreen. I did look up some PC fixes, and it looks like the... The gentle folk at CD Projekt have already applied those. Hey, try not to get eaten by a monster or anything, uh, okay? I think it... Are you guys getting some pretty horrendous screen tearing? Ooh, I don't know that I can do anything about that, unfortunately. If this game only runs in, in uh... If the, game, if the game only runs in full screen, I think it's just gonna be what it is. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of see it in the monitor. That's uh, that's the the curse of playing old ass games, I guess. Well, it does kind of look like a face. Video control panel. No, I I actually already did that. Believe it or not, there's an interesting quirk in Windows where if you have a clone display, and one of them is in full screen, the other one will ignore VSync. There's just no way. <laughs> So, this was the first Silent Hill game to have anything in first person. Um, which is which is really fascinating because one of the cornerstones of survival horror in general is providing you, for lack of a better term, a safe space. Uh, most survival horror games have rooms where you are safe, and that is telegraphed. You know, your re Resident Evil uh, typewriter rooms. Um, so, this this game makes a whole game mechanic out of playing with the concept of a safe area. Your apartment, in between the more normal Silent Hill stages, is a safe area, but it starts getting infected. So they set up this expectation of, of safety and then start taking it away, which is really cool. Oh, first Silent Hill had an option for first person after you beat it. I had no idea. Oh yeah, Evil Within. Yeah, you're right. I gotta play more of that game. It's frustrating all the people who were like, oh, we want classic Resident Evil, and they just completely slept on Evil Within. Basically, this game is about herpes. Mm. Good guess, but no. <laughs> you okay, stuff? Sorry, I'm just reading something that is such fucking trash. Ah, more. Uh, well, I don't know if I don't know if you want. No, please. To, okay. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go respect the game mode for this intro. Personally, I think the first Silent Hill movie is one of the best video game adaptations. I I agree. Well, that movie kind of gets slept on, unfortunately. But yeah, the second one, not so much. <laughs> Keep your cyber secrets. I will. Yeah, there's two Silent Hill movies. Uh, oh, this is something that I meant to address in my, my opening YouTube apology, but um, thank you so much for the incredible outpouring of support from everyone. Uh, I typically do my good streamer duties and dream. dutifully read everyone's name that gives me money. But unfortunately, I think this this wave is a little a little intense and it would probably be 
a good grip of minutes of me robotically uh, reading names if I were to. So I will thank you. Thank you for your support very much. Um, and hopefully if, if you threw bits or subs at me, I, I hope you feel acknowledged by that. The good news is, if you subbed, then you'll get a newsletter this coming Sunday, and I'll, I'll maybe do, hopefully do a bit more of a profound thank you and expression of gratitude there. Uh, oh, thank you, J. Dodea. <gasps> Scary. So yeah, I don't know, back in the day, I really thought Henry, which is this guy here, I really thought he looked like Tom Cruise, um, but... Now that I'm looking at it, maybe not so much. Things just like the hair. The hair is the same. Help. Or at least it was back then. That's kind of what I'm really fascinated to see with this game, is I remember this game being like... Oh, cut. Chef's, chef's Kiss Fine Art. Um, and a lot of that is mostly due to the fact that it, more than other games at the time, uh, actually u properly used like symbolism and, and imagery in regards to its themes. Uh... There weren't a lot of games that did that. Mostly it was just bald dudes screaming and, and shooting things. Uh, so I really, really appreciated it for that. I'm curious now, in retrospect, to see how it actually aged. This is weird, though. When the text pops up, the entire game, like, clicks into PlayStation 2 mode. <laughs> Konami ports are a, a, real, a real interesting thing. Most of the fixes I saw online. You heading out? Mail drops, multiple people. Ooh. Ship, ship, shit out. Okay. Here, let me let me say goodbye to you. I'll be right back, guys. This will take like two seconds. See you, see you in just a minute. Designed around into the All right, I'm back. I'm back. Just had to say goodbye to the lady of the house and the lady of our hearts. Oh, that's why that was weird. Okay, that got all twisted. Huh. Milk carton, thank you for the sub. Take care of yourselves. Good advice. Woo! Oh, there's... okay. I was gonna say, I've discovered the magic look back to center button. Remember when that was a thing in video games? Auto center? Remember? Remember that? So yeah, typical horror stuff, I guess. They show you they show you this place at peak... peak infection, peak haunts. And then, uh... And then it rewinds. Um, okay. Fuck Metal Gear Rising Auto Center still gives me PTSD. Yeah, nowadays it's it's more reviled than useful. But uh, one of the other things that I do love about about games when you take them out of the console they were designed to run on is just how certain assets scale and some don't. So like resolution scales, it's just math. Textures and assets do not. So <laughs> what? So like it's fun to see models that were intentionally designed to uh, run at like. 640 by 480, I think. And how, like, certain things don't matter at that resolution, but then matter a whole lot. The foreshadowing in this game is fucking mad shit. Yeah. That's the thing. The reason that I remember it being such high art was that it actually did execute some of the... Oh, I can bang on the window? It did actually execute on some, like... Some of the storytelling devices and, like... Literary shits that I knew games could do. And just weren't doing back in the day. Uh, hey, La, loved, watched your Last of Us 2 review and was mostly on board with your take. You mentioned not wanting to do things the game said you had to do. I'm curious your opinion on an MGS3 ending where you have to shoot boss. I know there's a difference, but I can't explain why. There's absolutely a difference. Um, mm, so, there's something different about a character with good intentions being forced to do the wrong thing. Um... So, like, Snake, Naked Snake, in 3, uh, as a character, is basically spending the whole game trying to figure out what his motivations are. Um, and eventually gets betrayed, and then becomes a massive war criminal. Like, that, that, that progression's actually pretty cool, and I like that Metal Gear Solid Five and Portable Ops and all that stuff basically never really try to make Big Boss feel like the protagonist. I mean, he is the protagonist, but he's not the good guy, you know? Um... I don't think that Last of Us Part 2 ever tried to establish that Ellie was the good guy. And in fact, I think they literally do the opposite. They pretty pretty directly tell it. No, Ellie's the bad 
guy, such as there can be one in this narrative, and Abby is actually the good the good guy. Um, the difference is like, what if? Okay, so the difference is, let's say Metal Gear Solid Three. Let's say that every single boss fight, the pain, the fury, all that stuff. Let's say it, all of it, all every last bit of it ends with like a a heartfelt outpouring of a tragic story from the boss, and then you have to put a bullet in their head. Like, to some degree, that's kind of what it is. There are backstories for all those all those bosses, but the game does not try to. Just doesn't really rub it in as much, and that's not the tone of the story. Um, and and furthermore, that's not really even an implied like takeaway from three. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed death scenes were again not to make you feel bad. It was more like we're just providing some uh, we're just providing some backstory for these characters to make it try to make it less of a of a like a video game guy that you just stabbed. You do have to put a bullet in the boss too. Well. Oh, yeah, in the boss, you do. So, there's a difference between an ending being tragic and the entire game being unrelenting tragedy over and over again. Um, furthermore, like, I think Solid 3 would be a little different as well if halfway through the game you had to shoot the boss and then the game rewinds and makes you play as someone else. And then you go right back to the same ending again. So, so kind of making you stew in that dread is, is I think sets up tone in a way that's that's overly oppressive. Didn't Spec Ops the Line do something like that? Not necessarily, no. The difference is, I think, in all of those examples is those games do those things once. It's just one plot device, it comes and goes, and you can think on it, but move on. Last of Us Part Two does it over and over. It's the entire game. It's the entire game. Spec Ops had you do a thing in the course of the game, and you just did it assuming that you were the player and therefore the good guy. And then later on, they ask you to reflect on that thing and kind of recontextualize it and be like, okay, you're not the good guy. Um, Hotline Miami, again, all the way at the end of being like, hey, maybe consider all the things you did. And it wasn't because, like, there was a story. You were waiting for a story. And now that you've arrived at the end of the game, we're not going to give you one and, and reverse justify everything you did by narrative. Um, that was kind of Hotline's big twist, which Last of Us 2 also did not do. And, I, and to a degree, I'm frankly a little insulted that they referenced Hotline Miami and Last of Us Part Two, because they totally missed the boat. Never even understood the story of Hotline Miami. Yeah, there's, there's some shit about a Russian mob. It doesn't really matter. The big twist is that when you find the people who were calling you, they basically say, we're not going to give you justification. You didn't need one to go kill loads of people, so why do you think you were owed one now? Uh, which was a really cool ending. Um, sorry, spoilers, but come on. Hotline is old. <laughs> Um, you should still play it though. The, the yeah, Iliando, they definitely reference it. There's somebody playing Hotline Miami on a Vita, and they show it to screen on purpose. Yeah, do you like to hurt people? Exactly. So, yeah. Oh, anyway, uh, believe me, that is that is the first of many times uh, I'm going to get distracted pontificating about games because that's what I do here. Uh, I feel like sometimes I have to characterize myself for for the loads of new viewers. Um, no drama, but plenty of plenty of pointless meandering about old games. Uh, through the ritual of the holy assumption, he built a world. It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within, yet without, the Lord's world. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world an extreme flux. Unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures. A world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for an eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? Too damaged, like me. True gamers love philosophy. Hell yeah, dude. When you, when you spend like twelve hours a day playing games and like f doing nothing but folding into your own mind, you get pretty philosophical about stuff. Hey, M Carp, thank you for the sub. Yeah, night night bots night bots are in their keep today. Oh, sad moist boy. I did not watch Nikki's. Last of Us video. I I should, but I tend to be a little bit curmudgeonly. Um, I understand the irony of what I'm about to say, given that I just rambled about video games. I just don't have a lot of hunger in me for other people's opinions about games, because I've played enough and I kind of feel like I know what I think. And more often than not, 
when I go to when I watch a YouTube video, either the references and the takes they make to me are what's the word? Undereducated. Like I feel like there's a lot of people saying a lot of things about a lot of games and they just don't have the bank of experience to talk about them which that's just that's just me um which is shitty and 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 i like i'm not saying that about nikki i'm not saying that about anyone in particular it sounds so pretentious it is it is super pretentious that's why i, I like i keep it in my own head you know that's just why i don't like i i can play last of us 2 and have my opinion about it i don't I don't feel like I'm losing anything out by not knowing what Nicky Jakey said about it. And he could say the same thing about me. And I'll be like, you know what? You're right. So I, I hope it's not that I think other people are stupid um, or that other people's ideas about games are not valid. I don't think that at all. It's more like, I don't know, man. I, I, put, in, I put in like uh, whole months into just playing through series and, and understanding the chronology of game design and games companies and stuff. So... When I hear someone else being like, oh, this game, and I'm like, well, come on now. This other person made this other game before that, and those mechanics were there, and like you're calling this one a masterpiece, and like, well, there's a legacy there that. So that's kind of where my head goes, is like. So. Uh, Nikki Jakes is largely similar to your take. Yeah, so, so I don't know what I would gain by. I don't know what I would gain by, by watching it. I, that's the other thing, is I kind of don't need the validation of being agreed with. Uh, which I guess is also pretentious, but oh, I am I am totally okay just sitting here on my own stupid little island and enjoying games and, and having that be it. So uh, that's just kind of where I'm coming from. I, I yeah, I just I guess I don't need to seek out video game opinions. <laughs> then, uh, so let me. Uh, I guess maybe another disclosure to make myself sound a little less shitty here. <laughs> I spent so long. So long, so just chopping, chopping through other people's opinions. So I, not a lot of people know this, I bring it up when I can, but I spent years editing writing for gaming blogs and stuff like that. Delicious. Oh, cool. I got a weapon. Yes, take the chocolate milk. Well, I'm, I'm set to party, man. I got a... I got a fucking bottle of white wine and some chalky. Delicious. So, uh, to continue my previous point, I got I got so sick of just reading people spouting words to say words. Um, and and maybe I'm carrying a lot of that with me. Uh, I mean, pretty obviously I am. So, that's on me. You, you're right though. Like I feel like the moment that you start shutting out other people's ideas is when you become old when you're like i you have nothing to teach me like when i start thinking like that that's bad uh nikki jakey's last of us 2 review was nice uh, because it helped me work through the reasons why i like last of us 1 and dislike last of us 2. i didn't really care about his opinion of the game since they meshed up with my own it was a good way to kind of work out my own problems with the game and put names on them ah, i i hear you okay i um, i guess i okay I guess I, uh, this should come as no shock, but I've never had trouble What's going on here? vocalizing my opinions. <laughs> that's, that's probably pretty clear. Ah. I feel the same way about speaking for the sake of being heard. I'm on a podcast and I absolutely avoid going on as often as I should because I hate making content for the sake of it. Yeah, man, that's... What a, what a weird... My left ear loved that. What a weird, uh... Man, what a weird place to be. For, for like, for one, for even the prospect of... Of just shooting the shit making content for that to be any kind of money-making endeavor like that's already weird but to get to the point where like you're burned out on doing that i i totally get it dude as somebody who produced a podcast six seven years straight i get it um oh yeah 
it's it's like you can you can recognize how strange the this the like the setup is there's our whole bay of oh, boys also reflections konami flex in there on a ps2 that was kind of a big deal what the hell that front door is from 2020 yeah somebody Was Kovic talk off limits? There just isn't any talk to, to be done, unfortunately. Waiting on Rooster Teeth to make a statement, and that's where it's at for now. So, uh, I would. I don't want to like be banning or timing people out. So, like, initial curiosity is understandable, but if you start pressing the issue, that's when it kind of. It's like, well. Never want to turn my artistic pursuits into a money-making thing for that same fear. Don't want to tape my writing with the need to support myself with writing. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's an interesting dynamic when um, when you start when you start getting paid for what you do, it changes your thoughts about it. Um, in a fundamental way, there's some pretty interesting studies about how compensation makes fun things work just just immediately, just like that. I think even if you mentally manage those things, the problem becomes, like, if you start getting paid for your writing, well, then you you write to get paid, you know? And also there's strings attached. So, like, you can write whatever you want and throw it to the ether for free. And you can practice that skill and that's great. The second you start writing for a blog or you start, like, writing to get hits or you start writing to develop a reputation or writing to make people listen to your video game opinion, once there's another motivation to it, yeah, that changes the... Uh, that changes the vibe for sure. Would you consider your thing with Bruce and Kraken a podcast? Um, only sometimes. Uh, I have not leaned hard into producing that thing or, or like bringing a lot to the table because I don't want to go down that same rabbit hole of investing a lot of time and effort into a show and then, well, no one then, but I just spent long enough doing it. Uh, so it's it's nice to really just have it kind of just be a weekly a weekly talk catch up with friends hmm crawling through a long pipe into uh, into light at the end I wonder what that's meant to represent interesting 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 I think they they apparently fi fixed the FOV too because the hole is not an oval so Ethan? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps, Ethan? Perhaps? Oh, this is... I mean, I guess this is a loading screen. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably right about that. Uh... Yeah, and that's sick film grain. But, like, it, it's interesting to look back on this, how, like, this kind of eschewed a lot of game design at the PS2 outset. It's slow-paced, it's... it's symbolic, it's... Ooh, that, there was a ghost there. So, some, I really do wonder, like, how much of this game is actually fine art and how much of it was just, it was different and had some literary merit at all. Maybe watch Jacob's Ladder. Yes. Jacob's Ladder is... I remember people referencing that film back when Silent Hill was kind of becoming more of a franchise. And now that I've seen it, I totally get it. Yeah. Ah, Drunken Samurai. Thanks for gifting a couple subs there. Do you have top three PS2 games? Woo! That's a hell of a question, man. Shoo. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 is on there for sure. I think Solid 3 might be my favorite PS2 game. Gosh, apart from that, though. There's so many good games. I don't... Like, there's some that I don't know if they count. Like Final Fantasy XI or, or Rez. Um, Beat Mania. Is it a wise, subtle reference or direct illusion for the sake of illusion? It's it's a wise and subtle reference. Uh, I can I'm confident in saying. Sober librarian, thanks for the gifts. Yeah, Final Fantasy XII was some real shit. Like, it came super late in the PS2 cycle. Oh, Persona Three. Is it modded? This is running on PC, so technically yes. Silent Hill Two. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Screen sharing is super evident now. Shit. Uh, the only thing I can maybe do... I do remember seeing a mod to... 
I do remember seeing a mod to run the game in borderless windowed. I don't know if it's going to work with this version of the game. Um, nope. But I can try it. That's kind of the only thing that'll make... Oh, he's so scary. It's kind of the only thing that'll make, uh... That'll make the v the the screen tearing a little a little less bad. Yeah, don't worry, not worth the effort. Next time I take a bathroom break, I'll look over it. Maybe it's just as simple as dropping a DLL on the directory and that's it. Uh, I use the patch and it works flawless. With the good old games version, action bot. Screen tearing makes it more spooky. <laughs> Who are you? Oh yeah, it's the legendary Silent Hill voice acting. What's your name? Henry, and you? <laughs> this is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. Yeah, this is how Blur was accomplished. I was just thinking about that. dream, huh? This is meant to look cinematic. Well, I mean, dream, if it's interlaced and running at 640 by 480 on a blurry CRT, it actually works. I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. But it looks weird now. It like has, it almost has like, like lens bloom effect. Help me find it? So much of old games, kind of scared, it really was the fuzz of a CRT display that made it come alive. It's like pixel thing. flickering and NES games and stuff. For you later. <laughs> Fake transparency. Now it just looks like ass. Might as well have some fun. I have man, this is this is so much taking me back. And and, and to a degree, like kinda recreating the vibe right now. But back in the day, uh, I remember I'd like, we'd, I'd be hanging out with my boys, and we would play through all the Silent Hill games, kind of passing the controller around. What a good time. Wait a minute. We got down one hallway. She's already got problems. I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for being on deck today. Characters slipping and sliding rather than just walking. <laughs> Fucking Avengers, yeah. Avengers is just. I'm I'm astounded that. I don't know. Open fire. It's still not patched, I don't think. Ooh, Ronan, thank you for the big cheer, man. Yes. He, and here I'm I'm surrounded by legions of boys that are throwing money at me for some reason. So everything works out. Luis, thank you for the prime. MLG Blackbeard, thanks for the sub. Do you finish Squadrons? No, I've been waiting to play that on stream. There's a grip of new games that I've been waiting to sort of stream because I want to share it with people. Uh, so yeah. I've just been playing a shitload of Hades and Spelunky. <laughs> Laying low, waiting for Rooster Teeth to make a statement that apparently they aren't capable of doing or something, I don't know. I, un I understand shit's complicated, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't complain too much, but uh, the longer they take. Uh, I don't remember how to... Oh, dear. Uh... Uh... <laughs> I don't remember how to... Like, I have to, like... Hold on. <laughs> uh... Hey, there's... Try not to get eaten uh, by a monster or anything, okay? Alright, here we go. Button config. <sighs> Action investigate. Skip them. Skip. There's a button dedicated to... Ready weapon. Button five. Mm, don't know what five is. Let's find out. One, two. Oh, oh! Equipped. Ow. That's camera. There we go. Ha! Okay, got it. There's a dodge. Yeah. Okay. Hoo! 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 Yes. The breakneck thrills of Silent Hill combat. Uh. 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 Got him. Uh. 
Oh, he wasn't dead. I do remember the other interesting mechanic about this game that we haven't seen yet. Is that, uh... Is that, uh, there are unkillable enemies. Straight up unkillable enemies. And it kind of, kind of factors into the plot as well, but... Hey, what's up, Dr. Walrus? Okay, this is like a finisher. I'm still squaring off to him, though. No, maybe not. Step on it, yeah. Mango sent it. It's been a minute since I played the game, so... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna take a second for me to, like, re-understand all the controls. Yeah, that, that noise, like, stock panther growl. It makes me feel like I'm being sold an energy drink or something. Which, by the way, I'm sponsored by G Fuel, so buy G Fuel, everybody. Actually, wait. Wait until tomorrow to buy G Fuel. I'll have a 30% off code tomorrow. So make sure to do that tomorrow. Save your money, though. Throw it all in a pile and give it to me. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a Twitch stream without, without uh, me pointlessly pontificating about old games and then plugging G Fuel. Enter the hole. So there you go. Now the now the uh, the double entendre of a Twitch title makes sense, right? Do you feel shipped to the UK? I hope so. The lady went in the hole too, maybe. Sino, maybe. Uh one of the things about Silent Hill, almost as a game, is you kind of have to not trust your perception. What? <laughs> in the UK, it's called G Petrol. <laughs> so real. Or could it be? Oh, did really hold on, Ethan? Did they finally? Dream? Did they finally do a thing? That's good. I mean, it's yeah, just stupid. I I, I should I should I, thinking? I should dial back my bitterness a little bit. Um, I understand that that shit's complicated, especially since some shit happened on work grounds. Our code of conduct is meant for everyone in our community to follow, and that includes our staff and anyone who works or partners with Rooster Teeth. We have parted ways with two employees whose conduct did not reflect the values we strive to uphold in our code of conduct. We are adjusting our programming accordingly to move forward, and we thank everyone for their support and patience during this challenging time. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I understand why they may not be able to say more than that. <sighs> let's... Let's for a moment, like... Not a bad statement? Yeah. It's, it's safe, and at least it's a statement. Um... The thing, the thing that... This, this gets said a lot. Rooster Teeth is owned by AT&T, right? An AT&T employee... Like, that's the thing to think about. This all happened with an AT&T employee on AT&T property. So, there's reasons why they can't say anything. There's reasons why there's no reason for me to say anything. Let me just shove that back in. There we go. Just a minor, just a minor scare. Just a little, a teensy spook. <laughs> you know, you know when we come back into our rooms and there's a, there's a gun hidden under a, an end table. Death Moon, thank you for the, thank you for the donation. I hope you're doing okay. I'm excited you're playing one of my favorite horror games. I played this when I was nine with my cousin. It was scary and fun. Keep the great work. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Death Moon. Yeah, I have a lot of good memories tied to the series too, so. Uh ADH Danny Boy, thank you for the resub. <laughs> it's been ten months since I started giving you money. If I could go back, I wouldn't change a thing. And I would not change all of your sweet money that I've spent on ice machines and What else? No, I bought new sheets. I bought high thread count sheets, so thank you for that. Nicholas, thank you for the prime. Quagor, thank you for the prime. King, Bit King, thanks for the thanks for the sub. Now I got a sweet gun. Ghosts can't fuck with me now. I got a goddamn gun. Well, I guess there's a message carved in here. It looks like he's an ice pick or something. The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any further. The hallway, the windows, the walls. It feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. 
Eileen never noticed. Oh, I spend your money? Oh, yeah. Squid, I'll do you one worse. I give it away. I give it away. One of the, one of the more rewarding... I understand this is going to sound pretty self-aggrandizing in the current context, but one of the more rewarding things about going independent is that I can just full-on throw money at charitable causes. Ah, yep, creeper cam, bunny. Hmm. Where did I put that damn broom? Oh, there it is. It's interesting to think about, like... If this game came out today, there would already be a Kotaku article talking about the implications of voyeurism in Silent Hill 4 or whatever. Also, look at this saucy little number she's got up on the wall there. A little little leather leather one piece there. Her stepping out on the town gear. And then, like, a dress for an 80-year-old woman in the closet. All right. Oh, golf 573, yeah. The the Konami number. Ooh. Where did you go? Hurry, save me. If you need a token, there's one here. Are you happier now than you were a year ago? Absolutely, spicy frosty. Absolutely. So wait, is, do I have to finish? You have to finish the number, right? Somebody else said something about like... Was it just 573-0000? Also, you guys, you guys hear that? Sorry, there's, there's a really loud helicopter right now. said that you weren't happy a year ago yeah it was the Adam not washing his hands thing was literal yes it was very literal I called him out on that on video because I talked to him about it privately and he he insisted that he did wash his hands but and and hopefully this isn't seen as making a statement but yeah every time he would walk out of a stall he would go up he'd splash water in one hand just water he'd rub his hands together and then he'd rub it through his hair that was him that was him washing his hands. And I was like, that's gross. Don't do that. Uh, and then he insisted he did wash his hands. And then he kept doing it. So I actually, I think it was during a podcast or whatever. I was like, this is fucking disgusting. And that was before. That was before I knew what he was doing in the bathroom. Why are you sharing this? Hmm. I already shared it, technically. I guess, I guess I just want, I don't know. I shouldn't, yeah, I did already. I'm just more, more, uh, being reminded of certain things. And when validation, yeah, yeah, pedals, that's, that's, that's true. And that's something that I'm desperately trying to get under control because this isn't about me. This isn't about my feelings or my validations. Um, yeah. So, there are people that I still very much support and care about. And I, the last thing I want to do is invite more scrutiny, questions, and negativity. Uh, so, that's, I got to keep reminding myself, like, what's the goal? What, uh, what am I doing? There was drama behind the scenes? Oh, I'm, I'm not going to answer that. Don't feel pressure to say anything? Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not by anyone else. Um, it's really just me and my own stupid little brain. 2208330? Okay. Didn't your passive-aggressive tweets invite negative and scrutiny, though? Yeah, they did. You are correct. 228830. All right.
Did I get it wrong? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Is there someone you really do feel a close relationship with one house? Not a played up relationship. So, like... Spooky sounds. I'm not going to say anything. Because saying anything just invites more questions. Um, and, like, people will analyze what you say. People will analyze what you don't say. And there's no way to, there's no way to say anything without it. <laughs> See, like, this, this is what it does. Silent Hill doesn't do jump scares. They do this shit. Can be used any number of times? Man. Real New York subway. Abysmal Pie. Thank you for gifting five subs. She said she, said she had a token for you. And I've got it. I also am back in the ladies' room. Have you played Baldur's Gate 3? Not yet. I really want to, though. Some of the, some of the stuff I heard about... Um, the Twitch interactivity with that game... Is really, really cool. Not only is that, like, the kind of game that I really like, like a deep mechanical role-playing game, but also it, it has, like, Twitch integration to make it even more interactive with, a, with an audience. God, this music. I mean, calling this music is intense, but... You can check out Thimbleweed Park. Yeah, I, I played a little bit of it. I didn't play enough to, like... I don't know. I, I played enough to be like, oh yeah, this this is what a Ron Gilbert adventure game is like. Uh, they made another one. <laughs> yeah, Umbra. <laughs> this weak little smacks. One of the things that was always interesting about Silent Hill is that you you know you're not playing an elite an elite agent like you are in Resident Evil. You're just some dude with a pipe. So I always appreciated that the clunkiness made sense with the narrative, but also kind of makes the game a little more tense when you don't have the tools you need to like play the game perfectly. Did you play the other Baldur's Gate games? I tried to. Um, the the Baldur's Gate games back in the day, like so I got a PC about when Baldur's Gate 2 was coming out I think and everybody's like oh this amazing RPG and I was like RPGs? I like RPGs but I was coming from like playing Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, so and Breath of Fire. So to me, uh, Baldur's Gate was so astoundingly overwhelming, um, and and I'd also never played tabletop D and D before, so I just genuinely wasn't familiar with that whole whole get down, um, and also it was just brutally difficult. Um, I was able to get over that hump with the Fallout games, um, but had similar experiences like playing Fallout 1 and 2. What's your deal, dude? You were just walking around, man. <laughs> this is why you're uh, you're just a normal guy getting winded from carrying a pipe and walking around for five seconds. Yeah, Thacko. I had no idea what the shit that meant. So it's like not only a game that you can't you can't be expected to reasonably just plug it in and start playing and having fun, but on top of that, you got to do a lot of research about everything. I was just certainly not ready for that. Yeah, also Baldur's Gate was, I think, D&D 2.5, which is even more arcane and difficult to figure out, so... Yeah, some of the old, like, Icewind Dale and shit like that, so... I, uh, I didn't play Baldur's Gate 1 or 2. Um, I didn't finish them anyway. Um, but... I'm gonna... That may be more owed to... The context of the sort of ah uh, shit. Okay, so you have to dodge. Maybe more on the kind of the context of the games I was had experience playing back in the day. <laughs> wow, <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, the jaguar sound is too good. It's a panther. Again, I just can't stop being like, drink G Fuel for gamer power. Wow! Actually, let me see. Damn it, he's already. Fuck! Alright, I'll get it, I'll get it. Don't worry, don't worry. 
I'll I'll nail this I'll nail this promoted promoted statement perfectly in a second. Actually, I think it might be time for some chalky. What? What? Bro, really? Why do I even have it if it? I feel so uncomfortable drinking my chalky milk next to a big undulating umbilical cord. Uh, this is not a first playthrough, technically, because I played it back in 2004 when it came out, but it's the first time I played the game in 15 years, so, yeah. I gotta just squeeze next to the... Yeah, okay, oh! Yeah, there we go! Fix camera! <laughs> Woo! Here in PlayStation 2 hours now. Alright, I have a gun. Forgot about that. Not very powerful. It's a fucking gun, man! I'm still annoyed by that. Oh, thank you, King Egg. Oh, well, I guess that's not the way we go. Not very powerful. Dude, whatever. Like, I don't know, Silent Hill logic is crazy. Imagine you're in a nightmare hellscape with a bunch of panther dogs jumping around. Would you take a gun or a pipe? Because the game certainly seems to imply over and over that the gun is not a not a good bet. Do they make chalky milk G Fuel? Kind of. Yeah. They have a moon pie flavor that is essentially that. I played Disgaea 5 or any Disgaea game. I played Disgaea 1, which is why I haven't played any of the other Disgaeas. I really liked it. But I was also like, I don't need to do that again. To some degree, like, Disgaea kind of reminds me of Pokemon, where it's like, I feel like... I feel like I've got everything out of it that I needed to, playing it the first time. Yeah, it just takes so much time, also, Doctor. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't mind grind, and I don't even mind games where, like, the entire point is a mechanically oriented grind, but this guy's a little too much. A little too much. Felt that felt that way when I finished Persona 5, yeah. That's why for me, like, people are like, hey, you're ever gonna play Royal? And I'm like, no. <laughs> why would I play that game again? I don't have enough life going around. I got too many other games I want to play. Yeah, RT did make a statement. That's good, I guess. They said... They said as little as they had to, I guess. Uh, Jolson? Thank you for the kind sentiments. What the... So what am I missing here? Hmm. Don't play Silent Hill 2 overnight when you're a teenager and you share the same name as the protagonist. Then stay up the entire next day to fix your sleep patterns. When you do finally go to bed as you're drifting off, you will totally hallucinate something running down the hall outside your bedroom. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, that sounds pretty rough. Is it James, I think, is the two protagonist? Yakuza when? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. So my, my goals, my gaming goals in the near future. I want to finish... Um, I want to finish Witcher 3 before Cyberpunk comes out. Uh, I would like to finish Doom Eternal and Ultra Nightmare before the DLC comes out, but that's unlikely. Um, apart from that, the only other kind of gaming project is just playing through all the Yakuza games. Which I'm probably not going to do before Like a Dragon comes out, but... Hey, them's the breaks. Maybe I just got to go back. Uh, did you finish Shenmue? No, I got to get back to that, man. Um, and Nier Automata, yeah, I got to finish that. I mean, I got a list a mile long. Did you shoot the umbilical cord? I'm not confident that's going to do anything. But I can try. I think I just might need to go this way. You've been trying to finish Nier Automata for three years. Yeah. The, the more time that goes by, the more intimate of a journey it becomes. So, really what I'm doing is just... I'm stocking up... Uh, stocking up uh, investment in the, the narrative. Jesus Christ, Ferret King. 50 mother... That's a lot of subs, man. Thank you so much. Jeez. Uh, you've you've loaded us up with uh, the current affair sound effect for the next couple of hours. That's a big bomb. 
Big subs. Big pogs. Oh, I guess I probably can't go up these stairs. This is a lot of viewers. Yeah, that's true. Well, thank you so much, dude. Damn. I'm gonna... You should spend that money on yourself, man. Maybe you already maybe you already have, or maybe this is your version of doing that, but... Yeah, big pogs for sure. Thank you very much. Aw. Uh, man, now I'm gonna... I need to throw out my sheets and buy even... Even higher thread count. Like, what's the... <laughs> Just call someone on the phone. What's the highest thread count you have? Double it. Call the... Call the factory in India. Tell them to gas up the... The, <laughs> the weaving machine. <laughs> Yeah, get a colder ice machine. <laughs> just toss, just buy another one. Fuck it. I'll just toss this one out into the street. Who cares? Thank you very much, though. What does Pog mean? Ah, it is a Twitch nomenclature for an emote called Pog Champ, which is a dude making a excited face. It's basically a shorthand for hype or excitement. Where the heck, Silent Hill? Not a, not a, yeah, maybe I gotta, maybe I gotta, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it is, it is, I gotta hit the thing. I don't want to waste bullets on it, though. Yeah, you're right. God, you're right. You guys were right this whole time. Oh, I forgot. There's a, char you can charge up attacks. <laughs> That's a stupid animation. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Ah. Uh. Hey Lex, thanks for the thanks for the cheer. Slipknot Fairy. Holy crap, what a great name. Thanks for the sub. Evie Griff, thanks for the uh thanks for the sub. Thanks for the raid, Mr. P. Biomagic and somewhat anxious. Thank you guys for the prime sub. You guys have us back into a sub hype. Jeez. You ever do any programming just for fun? I can't say that I do, no. Uh, mostly because like it's hard to impulsively program. Like, you have to set up a development environment first. Like, uh... If I had, like, Visual Studio all set up, and my libraries all set up, and a compiler all set up already... Maybe, you know? But, uh, these days... Not really. Uh, Born Again Waffle House, thanks for the five gifts. Oatmeal Sorrow, thank you for the prime. Somewhat Anxious, thank you again. Mech Daito, thanks for the prime. 13th cross, thank you. Ayando, Cyber Fanta Jesus. This is my first experience having people throw money at me faster than I can read their names. Uh misspelled Nain, thank you for the thank you for the sub. Sailor Megan, thank you for the prime. Cyber Fisherman, thank you for the subs. Again, for all of this, let me remind you guys, now that you, now that there's a lot of subs out there, I do send out a uh I do send out a newsletter every week of just random writing and stuff like that, so. Look forward to that. It's my, uh, small... I guess I've spent a... I don't know that this is what you do! Like, it's not doing anything. I guess there's a puddle here. Is that good? I guess this is the only thing I have yet to do. Uh... Okay. Well, let me... Anthrax, thanks for the gift. Kep, thanks for the prime. Akabon, thanks for the, the gift. Bilderberg, thanks for the sub. C.S. Pliskin, thanks for the five gifts. Pinecone, thanks for the prime. Iron Flash, thank you for the sub. You guys are scam training, scam training the heck out of this. 566, I've never seen a number that high. I put on pants for this. Thanks for the five gifts. Go up the stairs to your right. I will. Put the cor co coin into the turnstile. Where was the turnstile? I was looking for that. Um, Dank Memes 420. Thank you for the gifts. Dutchy, thank you for the five gifts. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a new record. 702. You guys have two and a half minutes left. I've never seen the number that high. No one watching this VOD has any idea what I'm talking about, so I apologize if you're watching this later on YouTube. Cyber Fisherman, thank you for the cheer. Rick, thank you for the gifts. Aurelius, thank you for... Thank you for the gifts. Ugh. I mean, 690... 690% was pretty good. Oh, is this the turnstile right here? Yeah, like... I came up here and it's just like, usually, entrance, exit. Uh, crispy buffalo chicken. Thank you for the prime. Skippy granola. That sounds delicious. Thank you for the prime. Sober librarian. Thank you for the gifts. Fella Deesh, Thanks for the gifts, sub. Michael Gallardi. Hold on. Gallardi. 
Thanks for the sub. Kill ya gooder, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my godzilla, thank you for the prime. See Playman, thanks for the ten gifts, good lord. Maybe I just have to use the item? Uh, Haley Dudette, thanks for the five gifts. Anonymous, thank you for the gift. Oh my god. You guys, you mad lads went and did it. <sighs> Doctor, thank you for the cheers. Nana Regamed, thank you for the prime. Mr. Losey, thank you for the sub. Disky Wick, <laughs> thank you for the prime. A real big hot dog, thank you for the cheer. Good lord, you guys. Keeks, thanks for the cheer. Another day of Sam, thanks for the Prime. How are you guys going to be buying your PS5s and your Xboxes doing all this? Congrats on being a millionaire. Finally, DJ Regulus, thank you for... Thank you for the gifts. I get to collect on, on people's resident guilt. Hey, at least I'm... The universe works in strange ways. The... the... Hours and hours, the days I woke up early to get up and write scripts and edit videos to make other people look good. Just being like, this is just the job, putting in the time. Other people buying cars, other people buying houses. I'm just like, well, I can't afford that, so I guess I'll ride a fucking bike through LA. So I can get to the job early to write a script so somebody else can read it and sound, sound smart about video games. <sighs> it was all an investment in the future. Did you guys really get to 1337%? You guys leeting it? My gosh. That's the most gamer anyway. The most gamer word, or the most gamer number. You guys have done it. You guys have absolutely done it. And I'm not doing this. I don't know where I'm going in this game! But thank you guys so very much. Jeez. I'm... Hmm. I will try... I will try to do something nice for myself. Uh... Clip it. I mean, unfortunately, the... <laughs> Unfortunately, the sub hype wouldn't be in the clip. Uh, you ride a bicycle or a motorcycle? I used to ride a bicycle until I eventually saved up enough money to buy a motorcycle. Um, <laughs> Keeks, I love that. Oh, I love that emote so much. Point your camera at the chat. Unfortunately, it's already gone. Also, my camera's on a, on a tripod, so I'd have to like take a nice bubble bath. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. It's fine, we know what happened. I'll remember it. How do you find the motivation to play so many games? Lately, I just feel so burned out. Games don't seem fun anymore, I just get no satisfaction. Is it depression? Am I not into them anymore? Maybe you're not into them anymore. Maybe you just need some time away. Do something else. Don't... I do, I do see people sometimes getting concerned that they're not having as much fun playing games as they used to. I don't think that's really something you gotta be super concerned about. Um... Heard that girl throwing up again near one of those stairs? Okay. Uh, you're in the right. You're in the right place. Info booth. Ah, okay. Thank you. Info booth. See, this is this was what the fun part of playing these games with friends was. Is that it's pretty easy to get to get lost and confused, and then it becomes a communal effort to try to figure out what to do. Um, man, you guys haven't even stopped. Uh, let's see, what have how far down do I- wait, okay. Damarex, I- let me- Damarex, thank you for the gifts. Dauntless Bunny, thank you for the gifts. Real Big Hot Dog, thank you for the cheer. Ilyondo, thank you. I know that it's Yondo now, but whatever. Slenders, thank you for the gift. Jrickle, uh, thank you for the cheer. Nickel, thank you for the- thank you for the ten nickels. Keefy Pants, thanks for the prime. My Man Ribbit, thanks for the cheer. DBO, thanks for the cheer. An Shay, thank you for the prime. Go to the turnstile, there's a slot on the right side of it. Kind of hard to spot since it's like chest height. That's what you use the coin on. Hmm, okay. You mean this guy? Chest height. This isn't really a turnstile either. I guess, I guess it kind of is. So there's like this custom camera angle here, which implies you gotta do... Maybe I just have to use it... Hmm. Entrance. The coin slot. Am, am I just not seeing a coin slot? How am I not seeing a coin slot? There's this guy. Uh, 
You can do it, keep trying. Right side. The thing... The thing that has buttons on it? Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. I did not... That did not in any way look like a coin slot, but thank you guys for... For poking me the right direction. Oh, we got videos! PlayStation 2, baby! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hampan. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no! Fuck! Uh... Alright. So those are the ghosts. They're unkillable. You can knock them down, and you can pin them in place. That's all you can do. Fuck, he's fast! Jeez. What's crazy is they, like... They they expose you to the ghosts before you even understand the mechanics of the ghosts. So they they show you... Like, they, they put you in arenas with unkillable enemies before even really explaining what's going on. Oh, trouble goats. Yeah, I mean... The, the viewership thing, it's, it's the first time I've gone live since all the shit went down, literally and figuratively. So, uh, people are just curious. Oh, that's right! They can invade into other spaces, and they hurt you just by being around you. Uh, go away! Good time to capture them. <laughs> With, uh... That always makes me think of, like, of, uh, Fatal Frame. Ah! No! Why are you on my ass sword? Go away, ghost! Piss off, ghost! Damn it. Shit, ghost! Ah. Oh, it's all squishy in here. Oh, wait. Huh? It's squishy. Uh, oh, you're out. Do you not open oh. fire? Controls are a little weird. Oh. All right, yep. It's not Silent Hill until there's grates, rusted metal. Ugh. So spooky, I'm getting a headache. Uh oh. I mean, if ghosts get my ass in here, they've got it. Is there sanity in this? Not really, no. It's not quite like that. Ah. No! Move! Shit. Well, I think that's it for me. Ah, fuck, man. What? Maybe I just can't be in this. <laughs> Thanks for the help, lady. <laughs> I mean, I can't really blame her for not wanting to mix it up with some very angry ghosts. Oh. Why are they throwing so many on you at the beginning of the game? This is bizarre. I wouldn't have been, I don't... I didn't remember the game escalating this quickly, but... go through a, a weird train maze. One thousand. Okay. Oh, yeah. Drink chalky milk? It wouldn't let me. Yeah, it, it just says I can't. Unless I'm not hitting the right button or doing it correctly. Can you only drink- I think you can only drink chocolate milk when you're- when you're in the apartment. I think. I, I think it gives you a buff or something like that. Oh! Thank you, Doctor! You screenshotted it? Yeah, please- please let me know. Or please send it to me. I would love that. Thank you. Is 1337 a record? I mean, it is for me. For sure. Oh, it's not for you. Ah. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, have I said my thoughts? I'm not going to. Overly dirty. My thoughts would not be constructive in this moment. I am realizing, I am realizing just how much heavy lifting the audio really does in these games. Yeah, Chalky Milk for Pyramid Head. That's why he's so mad. Oh, <laughs> bored. It's, it's just Ninja, exclamation point Ninja. If you want to remind me and everyone else in chat why we're, why we're here gaming. Will you ever say something about it? If there comes a day when I can reasonably believe that expressing my mind will not will not create any more negativity for the people that I care about, then I will do so. Um, it is possible that that time will happen, but it's certainly not now. Oh! <sighs> Shit. Bullets? They're giving me bullets. Great. <sighs> Remember when you parted ways with Funhouse? I stopped following you since Twitch streams don't fit into my schedule. Wanted to apologize for ditching you then. Hopefully you're well known, man. I understand leaving at that time was driven by many things other than just money. Yeah, yeah it totally was. Possibly Irish. Um, don't feel bad about not being in a place to watch me fluff about games for 12 hours straight. I, I totally get that. I wouldn't either. So I, you know, no hard, absolutely no hard feelings there, and, and even your, your verbiage is a little strong. I don't think you ditched anything. It just, I moved into a place, and you had circumstances. That's it. Uh, the good news is I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, I've been I've been working with some editors Bring to put on. put up shorter videos, which is also kind of me, you know, putting some money back into the universe, helping, maybe helping some people get editing work and planting the fields. You know, trying to trying to keep the keep the opportunity train going. Uh, I don't know that it- I don't know that I would be 100% cool if- Oh, I left her behind! Fuck! That's right. Shit. That's a thing in this game. I forgot about that. Oops. Oops, I'm almost dead. Never mind. She can deal with it. Oh! Uh, I think this goes back to the room, right? Enter the hole! Yep. I finally become a YouTuber? Yeah, finally. Which means, I guess... Nah, shouldn't... I was gonna joke about... That means I'm, I'm due for a scandal, but... Too close to home right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Silent Loan. Yeah, I, I'm not using it the right way. Oh, that's right, you recover health in the room. Yeah! And then that stops happening. Yeah! The edited content on your YouTube channel has been real good. Yeah, it's been great. Um, it's been really rewarding to, to work with work with editors. Uh, I kind of again, I kind of got my use chocolate oh, milk now. Scared, yeah, yeah. Are you? Oop, or not? Can you put the milk in the fridge? I took it out of the fridge. Uh, do you give it? I think you give it to an NPC or something. Eh. But yeah, it's been great. Um, that was that was one of the most rewarding parts about about um, yeah, running inside you. gaming was just kind of getting to work with people and and sort of seeing seeing people's skill sets sort of change and morph. Cause like, uh, oh shit, Space Jam on VHS, twenty gift subs. Thank you, Bring thank you on. so much. Uchiha Tachi, thank you for the gift. Armored Ocean, thank you for the sub. Uh, let me make sure I get everyone. D and I Coli, thank you for the gift. A dude named John, thanks for the prime. Just Cuz Incorporated, thanks for the thanks for the prime. Final Cloud, thanks for the prime. Too a little too Nate, thanks for the sub. Relic Lobster, thank you for the prime. It's gonna be a big day of reading names, um, guys. Man Mountain, good to see you. Oh shit, dude. So I I have to I have to. Now that you're here, which is great. Um, the the hoodie I tried to send you got bounced back. It like arrived back at my house. Uh, a couple days ago, and I don't know why. So I'm, I'm not good. Like I don't know anything about international shipping, 
I thought I did it okay. Apparently I didn't. Um, Shimungi, I just haven't made it to you yet. Or maybe I did. Com no, I don't see your name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for pointing it out, though. Um, Hip Ginger, thank you for the sub. Uch uh, Uchiha Itachi, thank you for the, the Prime. Spency, thanks for the Prime. Wizard shape. of Zaz, thank you. The Foster Child, thank you for the Prime. No effects, thanks for the cheer. Uh, oh, that's your fault? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what did you do? <laughs> uh, uh, boss, thanks for the gift. You ever think you'd... Do you think you'd ever be a part of a content team again or form your own? I mean, forming my own, probably the most likely thing. Okay, well, if you... Uh, Shipping to shipping to England isn't isn't cheap. So if you get if you like if you know for real that I can ship it to you and you'll get it, I'll do it again. But uh, oh, he needed to go pay customs for it and never did. Oh, okay. Is there a way that I can pay those customs? Because I thought I thought I would have done that uh, by paying for the shipping, but I guess not. So I didn't mean to I didn't mean to put that on you or anything. Did I send your card? Not yet. No, Amador. Sorry. There's that's kind of sitting on my desk. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap that up soon. There's been some other things. Market as a gift. I did. Hmm. I didn't know I could do that. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Postal fuzz, buddy. Are you crazy? Thanks for the thanks for the donation. Glad to. S Good to see you're posting more for YouTube. As an Irish watcher from Funhouse Times, miss my regularly or miss my regular quintessential game fix. Keep me entertained as background while I program at work, though. Yeah, that's... I, I I understand Twitch's role. And it's not, you know... It's not it's not mainline entertainment. It can't be. No one can be... No one can be 100% edited funny all the time. Uh, so it is background noise. And that's kind of how I produce this. Or how, how what I have in my mind when I'm doing it. Because uh, that's how I always use Twitch streams. Moe Jose, what a great name. Thank you for the Prime. Nev Neva K, thank you for the Prime. All right. Should I go down? Wait, what? Oh, it was down. Ooh. Well, we're in, we're in Silent Hill Town already, huh? Grates and flesh and creepy sounds. Oh, still like the raw content just out of my time zone? I will occasionally stream at erratic hours, but yeah, this is usually my my up window, I guess. Maybe I gotta maybe I gotta just plug these zombies or the ghosts a little bit. Maybe I just gotta gotta blap blap. Rat a tat. Nothing better than a white dude saying shit like that. It wouldn't be Twitch. All right, let's let's do it. Whatever gun or whatever ghost, I got the power of firearm on my side. Are you crazy? Just, oops. There's two of them. Uh, why are they dumping so many ghosts on you right at the right at the uh, right at the outset? It's pretty crazy. Silent Hill rules. Oops. Look at that dainty little hop. I found the exit. Come oh. Oh. Hurry. Hurry. Oh. 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 I don't know how to reload. That's what I was trying to figure out. Oops. Not that. Still not that. Maybe you have to use bullets? No. Maybe you can't reload. Maybe you can There it is. Okay. Ah. Alright. Uh, Mayor of Sim City. Thanks for gifting a sub. Shouldn't you warn me that I will regret? No, wait. Never mind. It was the advisor that did that. Drink your G Fuel for gamer power! There it is. There it is. I kind of like it. You get that. This person is an athletic sense. You get in the early Silent Hills. Yeah, I like it. I like it too. I've always been a fan of, uh, of game mechanics, um, creating the sense in the player that the game is trying to create, so... 
I, I'm not going to go out and say that it was 100% artistic intent that, uh, that created the kind of wo wonkiness of Silent Hill, but I think it works. There's a, there's a lot about Silent Hill as a franchise that just kind of works despite some of the things that you could point to as being kind of objectively bad about it. It kind of reminded me how uh, last time I played Catherine, I was like, huh, even though even though I never really thought about it as a horror game, I really do get the same sensibility playing Catherine that I do playing a survival horror game, but like frantic chase, feeling like you have only so much time to to like do what you need to do. Uh, the the stress of it, it feels so similar to a genuine survival horror game. And that never really clicked in until I played it the second time and I was like, wow, I actually feel really stressed and anxious playing this. Um, so it's kind of interesting how, how a rule set or game mechanics can invoke particular feelings or mindsets divorced from how they look. Like Resident Evil, you're, you're getting chomped on by zombies, so the visual stimuli is that, oh no, I'm in duress, right? But in Catherine, you're just a dude climbing some blocks. Um, but it still has that feeling of like tension and, and stress. You play it on hard. I'm playing it on hard now, and it is bonkers hard. It is so good. But yeah, like even watching somebody play Catherine is stressful. This looks sharp. Was there a PC release? Yes. Good old game. Somehow got the rights to, to re release this on PC. I don't know what conversations they had, but somehow they got Konami to be okay with it. Oh, thank you, Dr. Sinmar. Appreciate that. Did you play Catherine? Yes. No, I loved Catherine. Catherine is fantastic. I think I... You know what? Since we're feeling nostalgic, hold on a minute. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me, let me, let me hack my server here. Uh, so, uh, a while ago, like last birthday, I think I was feeling nostalgic. So I, uh, I, I, I had, uh, I had secreted away the Inside Gaming Daily blog, way back in the day, because I basically did all the writing for that whole fucking thing. Um, and uh, so I, I set up a local server. You talk about like programming. This is maybe as close as I get these days. But I set up a local server on, I can set up a local Apache server on my machine and basically have those archives. I bring it up now because uh, I did the Catherine review for Inside Gaming back in the day. And I think it's still here. Um, yep. Catherine Review. Bang. So, uh, yeah, July 2011. Let's see. With very few exceptions, Catherine succeeds in doing everything it sets out to do. It's a fantastically fun, original, and challenging puzzle game. At the same time, it ex its story explores adult themes that games typically avoid and will have you hooked on the drama within an hour. If either of these aspects interest you, you can't let Catherine slip by. Yeah, as I recall, I dinged it for, yeah, I dinged it for being a little too anime with its story. Mass Effect 2 review. Let's see, I think I, I wrote the PC version of, no wait, this was like the re-release, I think. Yeah, PlayStation 3, that's right, they, it was a staggered release. What did I give it? Actually, wait, hold on, what did you guys think I gave it? Because I don't remember. Oh, new driver though, that's exciting. 9 out of 10. Hmm. 7, 8, 6. Come on. 6.69. Ah, nice. You are the rest of IG are one of the... Oh, and the rest are one of the reasons I started studying game design. 7 you left, but happy you're happy. I'm so happy, man. Man, all, all across the board. Do you guys not remember Mass Effect 2 was good? Let's see. 9 out of 10. Blah, 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 blah. Mass Effect 2 is an awesome game, awesome story, playing awesome experience regardless of what system it's on. 360 owners will probably want to stick with that version to avoid long installs, downloads, and bargain bin prices. Everyone else, unfortunate to go this long without Mass Effect, has no excuse. Get this gameplay, love it, and prepare for Mass Effect 3. Woof, though. Woof. Mass 3. How about that? How about that? Yeah, I, uh, back in the day... Are you Destiny, really? Back in the day, um... I'm not going anywhere. Basically, like... Machinima really wanted to get on um, Metacritic, so they were just farming out loads and loads of reviews and 
I, I like ate up all of that. I was like, I will review as many games as you can give me. <laughs> like Command and Conquer 4 Tiberian Twilight. Womp womp. Yeah, that one was bad. I'm all for experimentation, but CNC4 is obviously cherry picking innovations that worked in other games and trying to mash them together. Low unit counts, I know base building from Dawn of War, experience system from Modern Warfare, and capture and hold modes from Battlefield. Even though the mashup doesn't work, the fact that this game caps off a venerated series by discarding everything intrinsic to the series is even more galling. So much of Command & Conquer 4 doesn't work. The campaign, the graphics, and story all feel shoehorned in to create a game around a concept that should have been simpler, less complicated multiplayer game. Who knows, maybe EA will still pull a Rocky Balboa to make up for this game 15 years down the line of the fitting end of the series, until then just play Red Alert 3. Zoom! I think I, I think I uh, opened with some comparison to Rocky, yeah. That this was the Rocky 5 of the series or what, I don't know where I was going with that. I usually tried to come up with some kind of like, wrapper or container around a review. <sighs> yeah. I didn't end up editing, like, I wrote a lot of these, I didn't really edit them. But... Oh man. I think I made a comic for this. Oh yeah, there's a Flickr plugin that's not working. Shocking. Yeah, I actually made a like Photoshop comic to review Star Trek online. Weird times. Weird times. Well, anyway, there you go. <laughs> What's going with that? Mass Effect 2 review? Something. No, it's another one. Catherine. That's the one. All right. Back to back to Spooky Town. Spooky Town. What'd you give 13? I don't remember. A number. Tiberian Sun is the weekend of Bernie's 2 of the RTS scene. <laughs> Tiberian Sun was weird, man. I didn't expect it to go like full full hog science fiction. Were those reviewers real people and where are they now? I mean, yeah, they're all real people. I don't know where they are, though. With a few exceptions. I think Konami's gonna start releasing their older classics like 1 and 2 recently released, possible remasters. I mean, they already remastered. They already remastered those. I guess they could do it again, but... Eh. Konami seems to have trouble getting their, getting their like console releases in order. Possibly because they just don't make that much money off of them, but who can say? Who can say what Konami's gonna do? I'm pretty confident in saying I have no goddamn clue. Ooh, I do have to use the restroom though. So I will be back in just a moment. Oh, Hompon, I have to admit I haven't watched any Funhouse related content since Bruce left, then some time passed and I realized I missed the hell out of your voice. Felt sad for a moment, then figured I would check out your stream. Well, here I am. Here I am with my voice. So I will not show you tinkles. Nor will I leave my mic hot, so you'll just have to imagine. Uh, see you guys in just a second. More choice because they're giving yeah. the artists and writers exclusive. Stand on camera with absolutely nothing scary going on. <laughs> it's a scary skeleton. <laughs> guys, it's so scary right now. No, totally. It's good that you did. <laughs> guys, it's it's spooky time. <laughs> Uh, all these stupid ghosts. I gotta keep plugging dogs and stomping on their necks. What a time. Also, God bless, like, this is this is not something that happens in games anymore. Footsteps that are exactly the same sound effect. And, like, pinched, too. Usually they modulate them up and down and stuff to kind of give some variation of sound. Oh! Look at this choice golf club. Oops. Looks like a nine iron. Well, it's important to know exactly what kind of club it is. <sighs> Razor Beans, thanks for the sub. You're gonna play Fight Crab. I don't know that I'm familiar with Fight Crab. Uh, Beast Mode Austin, thanks for the Prime. Mind Killer 4, thank you. Rick, thanks for gifting. Khabib Goat, thanks for the Prime. Oop. And I'm missing from the rejection. It should act as a key. Time to find an item. Shenmue snow footprint noises are heaven. Ah, uh, Dusty Knobs. You're absolutely right. That little crunch. Mmm, that snow crunch. I would do anything for that snow crunch. Fight crab is a game where you fight as a crab. Ah, okay. So it's a meme game. I enjoy a meme from time to time. Bloggers Gate stream happened or possibly happening in the future? Possibly happening in the future, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a hell of a game to bite off, though. Um, I know it's an early access, but... Yeah, I'm playing Crash today, yep. A little later. Actually, I'm gonna try to do a bounty for the first time. 
Because I was like, I kind of want to play Crash 4, and then yeah, it showed up. Like, that was always my my policy with bounties. Is like, well, I'm going to play a game anyway, and a bounty shows up for it. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, bounties are basically Twitch's way of farming out sponsored gameplays. So, this Media Tech this Friday. Yes. 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 I think. I can't think of a reason not. Um, I... Mm, the only reason not is I may not be able to keep a super close eye on it, and I do worry about chat. Like, any chat that I'm not watching directly, I get I get antsy about, because... Yeah, it's rough out there. God, God bless you, Internet, but sometimes people can get a little wild. And, uh... What the f... Yeah, exactly, Builder. This is a bad week to not watch chat. So, uh... As long as I can reasonably keep an eye on it, I have, uh... Yeah! I have a social engagement on Friday. Mr. Magoo, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I, I, ugh, I know that's what, like, mods got my back, I agree. But, uh, it's... I just... I feel bad. Ugh. I feel bad asking people to volunteer their time, you know? I'm not going to ask anyone to give away their Friday night for free. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting wall yeeted like crazy. I should probably add the rooster teeth tweet to the command, huh? I mean, I think anyone anyone will know exactly as much as they knew before reading that tweet as after, so it's not like it actually is substantial, but eh. Fucking ghost. You have something to say about it? Nope. Not at the moment. Had you quote about not wanting to draw negative attention? That I don't think will matter. Wait, what? Plate on the door. Temptation placard. Shows a woman and says temptation. Um Alright. That's, yeah, that's true, it's better than- oh, shit. Perhaps I shouldn't have abandoned her. Perhaps. Are you okay? Anime Weed Lord. My dream, right? <laughs> Thanks for the sub! I think... I drank too much last night. Is she okay? She's fine. I never got to do that special favor for you. I, I feel like I'm dying. epilepsy time yeah they're trying to trying to mimic the like film projection there was such a push for games to be cinematic and it's still kind of there and I just wish it would go away I just wish I just wish people would wholesale abandon the note the idea that they have to make games look and perform like film um, Cynthia Yeah. <laughs> 
Actual garbage. <laughs> Thank you for the big old sub. Yeah, Lucas, not Naughty Dog was in the back of my mind saying that, but... What about games' movie tie-ins? I haven't had one of those in a long time. Actually, I think Fast and Furious Crossroads, which I wholly support. And Uncharted ruined it for everyone? Uh, Uncharted wasn't the first one. And Uncharted at least has gameplay parts. Like, it has, uh... It has, like, arenas you actually play a game in. Uncharted's, like, explosion hallways are the more cinematic aspects. Ah, like, the the lo the the desperate reach of games to be like cinema kind of kicked into full gear with CD-ROM. Like, the, the ability to store a full-motion video. It makes sense because, like... And, and you can see this even before, how most games in the 80s and 90s are really just shitty parodies of, of movies. Um... I mean, Metal Gear, man. Metal Gear is just a mishmash of... And Kojima's work entirely is very cinematic, but he was never... He was never coy about that, so at least he said it out loud. Um, about, like, Snatcher is just Terminator plus Blade Runner, and that's it. Um, Metal Gear Solid is Escape from New York. Like, his 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 game adaptations of movies are, are pretty literal and pretty direct, so at least he's there. But, like... Uh, I do remember Square had a phase where they really, really, really wanted to make movie games. Like, uh, what is it? Fear Effect and Parasite Eve were two of their bigger ones. Um, and yeah, on into PlayStation 2, there was just this notion that, like, the, the true awakening of a video game is that you will get to be the protagonist in a film. That was the idea. Um... And it landed, it landed itself to some some awkwardness of like trying to imitate film effects in games and bloom and yeah, yeah, because the games have 15 minute cutscenes sometimes. I don't, I don't necessarily mind cutscenes. It's more like, I don't know. It's it's just fun to look back on the the legacy of that of that reach. Yeah. Hurry up and get that ambulance. Quit yapping Spirits within, already. for sure. I mean, they literally did make a movie. Did you ever comment on the CDPR crunch? Um, I mean, not officially, because I, I live with somebody who works for CDPR. Um, so... <sighs> anything I say will justify it, like, is justifiably under the bias of... Living with somebody who works there. Also... Um... As, as was stated... Um, there is a bonus pool... Set aside for CDPR employees. So in this case... It is literally and directly possible that I will financially benefit from something CDPR is working on. So with that context in mind, it, I can't really like say anything. Um, I guess what I can do is sort of inject, uh, I can inject knowledge or I can inject information that exists outside of my brain. So, uh, yeah. Also, I maybe I should sit in the cyberpunk chair when I say this. <laughs> Just to make sure everyone knows for sure where I'm, where I'm coming from. Um, you can look into it. Polish labor law is not American labor law. Um, there is a law mandated maximum of 48 hours a week. Which is why CDPR is going from a 40-hour week to a 48-hour week, because that's all you're allowed to do. So, there's this narrative that's been built up around crunch that I think pretty objectively does not apply to CDPR. Now, <laughs> this is where it gets biased. So, I'm going <laughs> to just, just throw that out there. Uh, given that that's the case, it sure does seem weird that a responsible reporter would not acknowledge those things. Doesn't that seem weird? Also, and this is another factual thing, um, if you're a journalist, an actual journalist, and, and certainly if you have a black and white Twitter photo um, and, and hold yourself in high regard, then you should know the one thing you're not allowed to do is post a report based on one person's test, like one person's accounting, um, especially if that person's anonymous. So that's just bad journalistic practice. Um, speaking objectively, if one person were to do that, that would be a violation of, of journalistic standards. Uh, 
Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should just, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, Jitka, I mean, regard, like, irrelevant from all of those things. Yeah, Schreier is just on a, just on a block spree, which doesn't speak volumes for, I don't know, the, their demeanor, but whatever. Frankly, means doesn't mean a lot to me. What about the people that don't mind crunching working more because they love what they do and they're properly compensated? Yeah, what about that? Um, that was me, uh, minus, minus the compensation part. But yes, uh, it's a complicated topic. Um, the people who represent it as not being complicated, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's possible to do that in good faith, uh, but I think it speaks to a certain lack of experience of being in that situation or working on teams like that where everyone truly does believe in a project and that project truly just needs a lot of work to get off the ground there i believe fairly fairly confidently that there are some things in life you just cannot get done with a 40-hour work week um the idea being that you put in a lot of time to make some shit happen then and then you take that off later like it's about balance but like insisting that the entire world hold only to a 40 hour week and that's it that's just not realistic and i think the only the only way you can argue for something like that is if you've never worked on a large project a large complicated project that requires a lot of like i don't know i uh it's theoretically possible i think to budget everything and account for everything and a, Imagine every possible problem, but in the real world, you have to operate within tolerances. And the tolerances budge both ways. So I understand the wanting to work more apart, but at the same time, how does one's inability to manage their stress and health factor into that? Yeah, I mean, that's... That's a... I mean, you're right. Um, good management will identify that and, like, force people to, uh, to step away or or make people take time. Um, it's, it's really a question of whether or not I think uh, management or ownership of a given company truly believes in the health and sustainability of all their employees or if they're just ex exploiting them to get a product out of them. Uh, and that's a case-by-case -case basis. That's, that's, the, that's the part where it's like you can't just you can't just draw a line from one to two and say that everyone that does this thing is bad. Um, or you can. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I, I guess people can, can say what they want on the internet. People can go on the internet and say whatever they want. So, you know, whatever. I will say that, like... Ah, no, I won't say that. Never mind. I've got to... This is a day where I have to be on my best behavior. <laughs> More than anything else, so... In fact, I've probably already said too much, so... Real with cheese, thank you for the sub. Focant, thank you for the sub. Uh, no, the, the issue is... Like, there's... Guys, I'm not stupid. There's a reason there's a thousand more people watching today than any other day. It's because people, people want some shit, man. People want the dirt. Um... And it's, it's certainly not in my interest to provide that. Oh, I was... Okay, hold on. I gotta go dump all the... Gotta go dump all the stuff. Gotta climb back in that hole. Yeah, damn right. People are here for the pro gameplay, clearly. <laughs> They're just here, here for the, the Silent Hill 4 plays. Biggest issue is labor laws between countries. North America seems pretty rough compared to Europe in that regard. Oh, boy, howdy, are you correct? So, as usual, America's whole sentiment is... Like, everyone for themselves, basically. Employers, do whatever you want. Employees, do whatever you want. If your employer's asking too much from you, employee, well, then it's on you to find a different employer. Um, not a whole lot of legal protections, really. What, I mean, more than me, honestly, I think, I think Bruce has specific experience in this regard. He worked a ton of overtime for NBC at G4, 
had to sue them to get his overtime pay. He was part of a class action suit. So I think more than anything, he's he's very familiar with the law, work culture in America, and the true cost of sticking up for yourself. Because um, there's a cost. That's that's the that's that's what kind of sucks about the American system in general, is that corporations and companies have entire staffs whose job it is to stack the deck in their favor. You as a normal human being have a job that's not doing that, but the onus is on you in your off time to fight them on their turf. Uh, that's the case with like labor. That's the case with healthcare. It's it's the case with everything. Um, what the heck? So what's what what I find particularly onerous about that circumstances? Help me! Help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. The uh. What do you mean? The concept that someone who has been working under crunch Help! and is exhausted and mentally frustrated and and needs change. It's then on them to go find another job, too. Normal to me. Um, that's God gross. Lives here. What's he like, anyway? I know his name and face. Oh, thank you, Leal. I'll try my best to be the pick-me-up you need. Uh, well, Rye Brett, thanks for the gift. I'm gonna go call the super. Geary Bleevinson. Yeah. Thanks for the sub. Damn it. They can't hear me. I don't think anyone has a problem with another person working 60 hour week as long as it's compensated and not coerced. Yeah, it's just as often not the case in the entertainment industry because the scale, some of the projects and the people who actually get paid generally get paid a lot for others being a company man. Yep, grim life. That is that is certainly an experience I've had a lot. Is that the, the people who stand to benefit from their employees' collective work should be like talking a big game about about being a team player and sucking it up this one time. But man, when the pinch comes, you can bet they're going to lay people off before they cut their own salaries. It's, uh, yeah, seen the cycle happen too many times. I, uh, enough times, in fact, where I'm like, nope, that is a, that is a broken system and I'm, I'm done with it. And, and frankly, I, I am thankful for having the, uh, even having the ability to be done with it. Like, I know a lot of people are not so, like... Kind of like I was saying, I, I get I get very fully that some people are just in bad spots. And like I had the like I didn't have a family, I didn't have like sick parents. There's a lot of shit, man, that makes that so complicated. Um kind of why it kind of makes me mad when people argue in favor of the system, and it's like You can argue in favor of the system because you haven't been <laughs> the system has yet to fuck you. What's going on here? Somebody's Got a little chicken dance going? Oh! Alright, he got it out of the system. Or the track ended, I guess. Hey, what's up, Una? You gonna go in lurk mode? Oh, you're... Look at him go! Your, uh... Your, your Joker character was so good, by the way. I'm... I'm impressed. I haven't messed with Glamour as much. I did finally get my shark, though! Oh, I finally got my shark! I'm so happy in Final Fantasy XIV. One of the days I was kind of laying low, afraid of my own my own mouth. Um, I spent the day, um, I spent the day grinding up my fishing and doing deep sea fishing. That was a good day. It can be pretty easy to take extenuating circumstances for granted if you don't personally experience them, for sure. Better memo, Final Fantasy fourteen or twelve? Uh, did you mean eleven? Because definitely fourteen. 100%. I mean, 14 is my favorite MMO ever right now. We hired a kid out of a master's program for our latest job position. They offered him far less than us and way, way less vacation. Now he's super green. Super green. Didn't even have... Didn't even know they could try to give him less than half the vacation days and you can't get off Maui with what they were trying to give him. Ugh. Like five paid days a, a year. Can't even leave. It's, 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 it's a bummer. I don't like being cynical, but once you start looking at the world in a more cynical way, then suddenly you start to realize that, yeah, it's, it's a messed up system. Um, and it only, it only benefits, 
That only benefits a certain kind of person. Oop! No! Stop him! Yeah! We got a call before he signed the paperwork and told told him how much vacation we get. He asked for it and got approved. We warned the shit out of him. So get as much vacation as us. Still makes us less, but not so much less. That's that's good. Hey, at least you guys did the right thing and kind of reached out. I know that there are people who will happily stand by while other people get paid a ridiculously small amount of money or shoulder way too much workload and just kind of be like, well, that's that. I kind of don't have a lot of uh, patience in my soul right now for people to do that stuff. Goes to show, discuss your compensation with your coworkers. It only benefits the company to not talk about it. Yep. To, to some degree, that can create some drama. So, like, sharing your compensation is one thing, but if you negotiated a really high rate um, and other people didn't, like, I mean, I guess you're right, though. To some degree, Annoyance should be shared, or annoyance should be directed towards the company, but knowing people, if you all shared your rates and one person's was way higher, people would just start to resent that person, I think. Didn't you have to sue RT to let you go? What? No, Lopez, what are you talking about? No, I told them I was quitting and they, they we discussed a plan for, the, for me to stay on longer than I wanted to. That's capitalism, bro. Yeah, not saying that is a good or a dismissive thing. It's shitty. Knowing how much everyone is paid only helps one another. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, Cole, when's 2DX? Pretty soon, actually. Uh, I did get your message about the the other song pack, which I'm really excited about. Because, man, some of that newer music is fantastic. Uh, yeah, I was I was really intent on, on scattering that, but... Or, sorry, scattering, I'm reading. I was really intent on playing that this last week, but, uh, There's been some other things going on. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Says Jasper Gine. Okay. I'm not sure what that nosy guy meant when he said his home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest, so the opposite is the southeast. The nosy guy said one other thing I don't understand. If you bring the dug-up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Ah. Alright. I shared my rate once and I regretted it. Everybody knew the very next day and they were getting mad. They didn't say shit to me, but still they started acting different for a while and then it went back to normal. Yeah, Alex. That's, that's the frustrating thing. I think in that circumstance, like in this... Guess what? We're about to talk about a union. You have to get everyone in the room and get them all on the same page to be like, look, some of us are getting fucked and it's going to require, it's going to require everyone to not just be out for them God themselves. So if you are happy with your compensation now, like most people don't want to share that because I, th this, this is an overgeneralization, but honestly, if you're scared to share what you're getting paid, you're probably getting paid more. You think you're getting paid more than other people. Because if you're not, then you wouldn't be afraid to share it. So, I think, I think when people don't want to do that, it's either management protecting a company from from less than favorable compensation, or it's individuals knowing that they're getting paid very well and they want to keep that they want to keep that quiet. That's just my gut. Uh, I got warned by people at previous jobs to do the same thing when applying to this job. I set the standard. I know damn well how much they were going to try to pay me because one person. So they were making 30% less than my starting before they got changed to my job title, which is not a different job, but I'm up to match. Yeah, it's, it's all, it's all games. It's all games. It's all games. Oh my gosh, by the way, you guys. Well, no, I can't share that. Not yet. Um, someday, someday I have another fun story about compensation and just how, how being an employee was just the rawest deal. Five years of just getting robbed. Jeez. Uh, I don't share because I'm pretty sure I get paid less. Um, ah, I, I missed the rest of that message. Oh, this probably won't be weird. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dap, dude. I'm, I'm trying my best. 
I keep slipping into oversharing and having to back off. So the, you came to investigate this, this stone too. There, there was a, another guy here before, a, a, a real nosy guy. When sharing, make sure you read your contract but first. I'm not under a contract. Found the stone first. The only contract I have is with sweet, sweet G Fuel. Oh, thank you, kiddo. Yeah, I've, I've been, uh... For, for talking with their dead ancestors. I've been dieting pretty hard these days. Now those, those guys are, are using it too. Call, call it the mother. They're just uh, up, up ahead in that, that weird building. Op operating some kind of crazy re religious cult. They, they used to c c collect orphans and, 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 and d d did things to them. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought he was done talking. Chill, chills, huh? This stone. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty spooky, spooky rock. A little Jinji Ito vibes a little bit. I wonder if that's a direct reference. I don't think I knew about Uzumaki back then. But it kind of looks like it now. Um, Nick GG, thanks for the sub. Laughing Sto Stoic 92, thanks for the sub. Matt Sipple 4000, thanks for the prime. Yeah, gives me the chills. John Kevin Baconham, <laughs> thanks for the prime. That's a great name. I've played Genshin Impact, not yet. I was actually going to, but I guess it doesn't have controller support? Uh, but I guess it's more of a mobile game, honestly, than a, a full PC title. So, I need to. I, I'm gonna get into it. Oh, it does? Huh. It sure didn't seem that way when I was playing it. Oh, you have to manually set it. Oh, every time you log in. Oh. Okay. I was I was the dumb asshole over here just expecting it to to work, so that's that's my that's my bad. Okay, well, all right. Um, because because I always game with maximum intensity. I was playing it off PC streamed to my living room, which meant that I didn't really like have a mouse keyboard interface to even get into the game and start exploring that. Ooh, what the hell was that? Yeah, the panther. Just watched Point Break for the, the first time last week, and that movie ruled legitimately much better than I expected. Yeah, Point Break is a solid film. Notice it's film, by the way. It's art. Yeah, now Point Break is timeless. You can keep stomping on them. Do the G feel bit. All right, I will. I've uh, unfortunately run the gamut on all of the panthers in the area. The frick, man! What is that? Put a baby in the cage. Jeez. Ray Dudia, thanks for the prime. Solid Shrek, thanks for the sub. And yes, Point Break is art. Skinny Fat Man, thanks for the prime. Katniss, thanks for the sub. Cloctimus Time. Thanks for the Prime. Hacked Res. Thanks for the Prime. Man. A lot of Primes going on. Thank you guys very much. Big Gucci Rax. <laughs> Thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, Alright. Here we go. Yeah, no, I, ne I never saw the Point Break remake. Which is weird. You think, it, you think a Point Break remake would be a layup, but I guess not. There, you need a game, grab the G Fuel of the game, pow! I, I could have done better than that, but that's- hey, we're just warming up. Oh! Again, 30% off tomorrow. So, save you- oh shit, I forgot they do that. I want to save you guys some money. Get your G Fuel now! You want to game hard? Game with the Panthers? Drink G Fuel! There we go. That was good. What the hell are those bugs? I don't know. Big bugs, man. 
They represent, I don't know, infection and something. Neglect. Listen, this game is art, alright? Silent Hill Smile Support Society Wish House. It's it's interesting to really think about um Oops! Really think about this game of like if it came out today, what would I think about it? I think I'd be into it so far, but I'd be like, oof. This has got some some real horror game jank. But this is, you know, top tier AAA sixty dollar title back in the day. Like this game, this game looking like this and playing like this would cost what fifteen dollars today? Weird to think about. DJ Regulus, thanks for the subs, the ten subs. Thank you very much. What do you think about the nineteen ninety seven Canadian indie phenom Cube? I actually really liked Cube. That was like, I really enjoyed that movie. Kind of, kind of really got under my skin a little bit. I, uh, it was like. That, that also kicked off, didn't that kick off like a whole string of, of sequels and stuff? In grand indie, indie horror fashion. The three pillars of true art. Lawnmower Man, Silent Hill 4, and Point Break. Why is everyone talking about Lawnmower Man again? Is this a, is this a bit on a Funhouse video? I mean, because I remember it, it came up like once when I was there, but every suddenly everyone's referencing it again, so I'm like, hmm. Yeah, Cube 2 Hypercube. It's my favorite. Oh, because Cyberpunk is coming out? Oh, okay. It's been a bit in Funhouse videos recently. Multiple videos? For five videos? Okay. I mean, I guess... <laughs> I guess there's only so many 90s references, huh? Yeah, King Egg, you're right. Uh, this is the most the most viewers I think I've ever had on Twitch. I think I got raided by Kriken once. Uh, actually, a couple times. So, like, the second after that happened, I had, like, 2,000 viewers. But, you know, they just leave immediately. Which is, is not a negative comment. I mean, I get it. That's how raids go. But, uh, yeah. Getting there. Getting there. Lawnmower Man is Ryan's favorite movie. Yeah? It's, uh, it's, it's not the best movie, but it's something. Remember playing a demo for this game? Yeah, I, remember, I think I remember playing a demo for it too. Oh, Ryan Haley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta be careful with our Ryans these days, don't we? I've seen The Void yet. No, but it's been in my Netflix queue like ever since I first signed up for it. <laughs> so I don't know what that. I don't know if that. Uh, I don't know if that buys me any credit, but. Uh, Cat Monarchy. Ooh. Thank you for the gift sub. Torino Scale. Thanks for the sub. William K. Thanks for the prime. Uh, DJ Regulus, thank you again for all the all the gifts, man. The void is worth a watch for the practical effects alone. Okay. Um, I'm. Oops, I guess I turned around. Oh, she forgot the guys had already told her about Lawnmower Man, so it came up again. What's amusing is like all the derivative bits, probably. Of just people ranting about Lawnmower Man. It's probably longer than just Lawnmower Man. Uh, so just go watch Lawnmower Man. Or better yet, watch the Beyond the Mind's Eye DVD that just has the CG sequences from Lawnmower Man in it, set to 90s world music. If you guys watch enough of my Away From Stream bumpers, you'll catch those eventually. Oh! Shit, man. Alright. Um, since there's so many people watching, I'm going to self-promote. So I have a... Uh, referencing those those clips I guess hold on a second um, I have this project I've been working on for the last couple of years I call it media tech as a, as a reference to G4 cinema tech which bizarrely may actually be coming back but essentially what I do is and, and you saw it if, if you were around for me going to the restroom or the open of the stream Anyway, uh, basically, uh, to recreate that, I just pulled out a bunch of, like, video game cinematics and stuff like that. Um, oof, Windows Explorer is, is freezing up. But for the past couple of years, I've been yanking them out of, like, uh, just clips and random media that I like. And where we are right now, hold on a second, is uh, 51 hours and 11 minutes of just random footage of clips from old movies, random commercials, uh video game cutscenes and things like that. I don't know what's going on in this this picture. All, oh, 
apart from that too and this this could potentially be our own material someday so in addition to that digital pack writing my uh, my windows desktop is a uh, is just a slideshow of everything in my pictures folder which has almost 50,000 pictures in it so basically as time goes on i just dump dump like funny images into into my pictures folder um, so it's it's just a collection of a bunch of random internet pictures, some of which are from some spicier meme days. Yeah, it's risky. Q Rackle, it's absolutely risky. One of these days, the game's gonna crash to desktop, and there's gonna be some real like, some 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 real caliente like 2003 2004 memes in there. Uh, so I gotta I gotta hold off for that. That'll be interesting uh, when that happens. <laughs> Uh, Cat Monarchy, thank you for the gift. Actual Garbage, thanks for the gift. M. Rojas, thanks for the Prime. Pun Xander, thank you for the Prime. Ah, but yes, uh, yeah, high risk, high reward. Hey, I'm a gamer, all right? We don't we don't shy away from risk. I play life on hard mode. Uh, but yeah, let me let me let me finish the plug that I didn't actually finish. So I have all these clips. Every Friday, I do something called Media Tech, where I just let them play uh, just randomly. So if you're like the idea is if, if you've been out having some drinks with the with the with the mates or you're in an, an altered state of mind to usher yourself into the weekend uh it's a pretty good pairing for that uh i think so maybe check back in on friday for that uh oh the other the other thing is i've been tagging them with metadata and descriptors so uh are you rated once during one yeah it's it's a weird thing to, to kind of explain to people um and and super weird to like there's been more and more of that on twitch lately which is great of people just doing like video mashups and stuff but is that for the whole day no only for only for a couple of hours in the evening so uh yeah might check back in for that if you just like watching random stuff uh yoki wartooth thanks for the prime uh but yeah since i have them tagged with metadata uh i can also pick them by subject so um I can kind of do themes and in the past I've done stuff like having the audience vote on the theme and then kind of my my grand goal is to do like a uh, audio visual mashup live so playing music over those clips um having the clips come up in volume oh passions friday oh man I got to add tons more I got to add tons more uh tons more passions to the to the to the to the database but are you gonna do a spooky Halloween media tech? Yes, absolutely. I gotta fill out my, uh, I gotta fill out my my spooky clips a little bit, but yeah, that's that's totally the plan. Cantankerous, thanks for the prime. Hmm. I mean, there's just this. I can't remember if you ever need to go back to your apartment to uh, to advance the story, or if like if that's just where you bail out to manage inventory and get your health back. Plays that Halloween Time Kingdom Heart clips. Oh, that's a really good idea. Uh, Hampan, uh, what time am I streaming usually? Usually it's like from noon to two Pacific, and then I'll go into like eight or nine p.m. Pacific. Uh, so that's that's usually my get down. Sometimes I'll do like twenty-four hour streams or go earlier or later, just depending on what's going on. Does killing that girl affect the story. Uh, yes, but I'm pretty sure that happens no matter what. Silent 14. Thanks for the prime. Ah, Avenging Gecko. Thank you. I'm doing good. Doing better than ever, really. You aren't hmm. scared, are you? Oh, Funhouse Media Tech? No, I don't own the rights to that. Also, that's just Funhouse TV, so... Uh, go for it. Yeah, if you kind of stayed strong, which I'm surprised... I'm surprised about. I would I would have thought people would file in and taper out uh, when, when there aren't spicy takes dropping, but... How's Steph doing? She's good. It's, um... Partially partially related to the topic before i'm not going to go too much into detail about about where she's at but 
No, I can't. I can't. The problem is, man, it's just like everything around me now is implicated in other shit. So I can't say anything for fear that it might get like taken out of context or used with intent to create a narrative or change something. So don't don't worry. Like for all of for all of for all of the game journalism going around, it's it's fine. Hmm. This seems like a big old dead end. Uh, let's. Can't read this writing. Hmm. Maybe we got a puzzle. Maybe we got a hot puzz. I don't recall four being very puzzle heavy. Hmm. Guys, the PS5 is big. I'm gonna just watch a speedrun of this game and now here I am. Oh. Well, can you tell me what to do right now? Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm a little kind of out of ideas. Maybe I got to backtrack puzzle item. Yeah, I, it's like there's gotta be a puzzle or an item, right? And I have to use it on the statue, but maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed it. I am kind of realizing now that my memory of Silent Hill games is largely based on the high note the high notes of those games and maybe not the wandering around trying to figure out where to go did you glitch in the wall yet not yet you're gonna be on tomorrow yeah as far as i know manly dan the um the interesting thing about uh, or the thing that i actually really love about where i'm at right now in terms of of work is that I can just sort of walk away from stuff if I need to, you know? Um, I don't have... I don't have, like, a stack of things that have to happen every day because I have tons of obligations to other people. So, if life life things do pop up, I can just sort of walk away from streams, and I do, to a fair degree. I've been a lot lately. I think people could attest to that, but... I have, a, I have an, an online schedule... Just like a public Google calendar that I try to keep up to date with uh, what I'm doing and when. I'll be honest, I was more in awe of how well the speedrunner dodged everything. Yeah. Watching people speedrun uh, survival horror or horror games is really just seeing them just like slip through enemies and touch nothing. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. The Series X is a corn baller. <laughs> Sweet, sweet corn balls. Damn it! So there's something about a key. Dug up key. And if... If I go back to the room, I have to leave it there before I can come back. Um, oh, there's another gate. Well then. Maybe it's just that simple. I don't think this is where I came from. Very spooky. The early reports of the Series X has you slightly worried. Why is that? What are the early reports? I really haven't been watching any of the ah, any of the influencer content about Series X. I should though. I'm actually really excited for Series X. Um, more so than PlayStation 5, but at this point, that's because I can. I got a pre-order for Series X and not a PS5. So, oh, it's hot. Oh, okay. I, I mean, whatever. Most uh. I mean, at least it's getting the heat out of the system. The thing is, like, modern modern GPUs get hot. That's they're designed to run hot. Oh, more voice acting. Apparently, PS5 runs much more quietly under load now. Oh, it's not a cutscene. Oh, there we go. Hey, little boy. I guess I don't know exactly how hot. People are talking, but I mean, I've always, I've always, since the Xbox One, the VCR, I have appreciated how bonkers bananas Microsoft engineering has gotten with, with ventilation. He said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen. Giant Bomb had a video and you could tell holding the SSD after use was uncomfortable. 
You mean the, the, the memory card? I guess that is potentially a use case, that you would go from playing on a Series X to yanking out the memory card and holding it. But apart from that, like, it's hard for me to, to think of a scenario where the heat generated invented by that would be... Oh, no more numbers. Would be uh, more severe than that of a PC or something like that. Hmm. Wish I could have gotten an RTX 3080. Yeah, same. I didn't get a 3080 either. I'm uh, I'm following the notifications. Somebody, somebody in chat, um, invited me to a Discord where there's a bot that posts update. Wait, I just came from here. Gosh darn it. Uh, oh yeah, that symbol. But man, there have been times where I've been sitting at my computer when the notification hits, and I click it right away, and it's already gone. It's already gone. Thought you get a 3090 for media editing. I don't do, like, 3090 is, I think, more for, like, computer, computer-aided design and, like, modeling. Video editing, video editing, you can, is, like, any, any, like, video card at all is more than good enough for that. So, I don't think I, there's really a use case for me with a 3090. It's also way more expensive and huge. 3090 big. I mean, most 3080s won't even fit in my case. I'm gonna have to take a grinder to it and start ch chiseling out metal. Uh, no, EMP, I got nothing to say about that. I didn't pick up an item and now I'm terrified because there's nothing over here. I was hoping for a key. Oh, you thought you got one? CDW said it was back ordered until the end of November. I mean, at least you got the order in, so now you just have to wait. Um, I mean, waiting sucks, but what size case do you have? I mean, it's an, it's an ITX case, I'm pretty sure. It's just old. Good luck finding the key. <laughs> I'll try. I will try. But, uh, and also, like, I can't, I really can't be too sour about it. I have a 2080 Ti. So I, I already splurged on myself in that regard. So I think a 3080 is what, like 20, 30% jump? Like mostly at 4K, it seems. And I don't even have a 4K monitor. So getting a 3080 is more future-proofing for when a, um... Uh, no command for specs, it's in the info. Just scroll on down to that info. Uh, I feel like that that belongs on, on channel page more than just a command. 1440p, 144 still sees benefits. I mean, sure, but you have to dig pretty hard to find a game that doesn't run... That a 2080 Ti can't do 1440p, 144. Like, maybe there's some frame dips, but... And for me, like, it all gets flattened to 60 when it goes out to Twitch anyway, so... There's definitely such a thing as good enough for me, and more than good enough for Twitch. Can you see the screen tearing? I cannot! Unfortunately, you guys do. Um... Because... There's a weird quirk in Windows where... It, there's really nothing over here? Man... Um... When a game is running exclusive full screen, and I have VSync turned on at the driver level, uh, I don't see any screen tearing, but for some reason, the output it puts out to the capture card, cloned in Windows, does have crazy amounts of screen tearing. So the solution is to run it in borderless windowed. Camera got stuck on the tree there. Um, which I can try to do. But it's gonna take some mods. Uh, Glubos, no. I. I didn't answer because I just got finished saying it when you asked before, but no, I got a I got a, a Series X, but not a PS5. I'm waiting for the uh, digital PS5, and I'm willing to wait for it. I don't want a big fat ugh, PS5 is just so ugly. I just that's just me. No, yeah, no worries, Glubos. Kill monsters or dig the graves for the key? Yeah, I can poke around the graves a little more. I got a Series X if you have a PC, mostly for honestly, really for the backwards compatibility. You know, it's not on a PC. Lost Odyssey. 
That is that is my Series X game. That's the one I'm excited to play, to see how it upreses, um, see how it performs, because that game didn't have the best frame rates and was pretty chonkety resolutioned back on... Uh, why not just lock the FPS in the NVIDIA panel instead of VSync? There is no option to lock the... Lock the FPS. What you're describing is VSync. <laughs> it's VSync with a refresh rate. That's locking locking the FPS. So unless you have another magic way of doing it, uh, Blue Dragon, I'm I'm also excited for because that game also had some performance issues back in the 360. But uh, Nvidia has a frame limiter now. Hmm. I mean that's. Limiter isn't strictly VSync. I still don't think a... So the issue was not too many frames. The issue was partial frames. Um, I and mean, I'm not sure that that would do that. Also, again, I think the quirk is more cl cl clone displays than, um, than things. Anyway, I gotta use the bathroom again. Uh, since I just saved, I will actually see if I can uh, fix the VSync issue. Um, that may take a couple of minutes, but switch to it and it seems to work pretty well. Maybe. Does it work well in preventing frame tearing in a clone display? Because that's specifically the issue. Uh, all right, potty break. See you in a second. Thank you. All right. Back to spooky, scary town. Okay, so uh, somewhat, somewhat amusingly, there was a separate config utility that had a had a, uh, a windowed option in it. So it does seem like uh, the good boys at, at good old games kind of wrapped all these community fixes into the game already. I just had to find it. So apologies for the hour and 44 minutes of horrific screen tearing, but yeah, that looks good to me. Um, let me know. Let me know if it, it looks rough to you, but seems like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. I know, I know, but still, it's, you know, it's uh, who, who likes seeing big old screen tears? Who likes that? Not this guy. No, sir. Are you playing Marvel, Qu Marvel Puzzle Quest? Ooh, nice. Um, somebody said it's been a long... Oh! Guy Generique. Hey. Long time no see ya. Uh, that's, that's, that's life, ma'am. Coming and going. Oh, it's too smooth? Whoa. Whoa. Too smooth? Screen tearing is non-gamer. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Sound? It's just a quiet game. Or it was. All right, back to being stu stuck. It's it's funny because it's it's extremely nostalgic now that I'm doing it to be like, oh yeah, I don't know where to go, or what I'm doing. Um, this this game did have did have some big like adventure like games back in the day used to be okay with. Oh no. Oh okay. With not explicitly telling you where to go all the time. Yeah, I feel like Gen 7 is about when we started getting into the territory of putting giant glowing trails everywhere. So that... Like, finishing a game wasn't... Wasn't outright combat with a developer. Oh, audio went out briefly? It only lasted a few seconds. Huh. That's not good. Hopefully my... This mic connection has been a little spotty. So maybe it got... Maybe it clicked out a bit. Tread there, and thy home shall be made un like unto hell by the power of the Lord. All right, then. PS5 or Series X? Man, who knows? <laughs> who knows? I am super pumped for Demon Souls. Super pumped. That's like the really the only launch game I kind of care about right now. But yeah, both, I think, is the answer. Both is the real answer. Both. Dead Space had a cool HUD argument invalid. Yeah, Dead Space had a glowing thing. Huh? Also, Dead Space just wasn't the kind of game where you have to poke around an environment for a long time to find one little key or item or something. Best wishes for Wish House. Hmm. I miss Morrowind style of quest giving, giving you an idea of where things may be and having you find it by adventuring. Yeah. The... 
I mean, there's positives and negatives to that because it's entirely possible you can just never find something if the directions are like hard to understand or point you in the wrong way. Tread there and you will tremble f in fear for the descent of the Holy Mother. Blech. I can't walk through this. Um, yeah, signposting is an interesting thing. It does require a certain temperament, I think, to... Uh, to enjoy games that don't tell you where to go. Most mostly people just get really frustrated. I feel like um, the adventuring aspect. That's what I really liked about Breath of the Wild's design, is that they would they would give you the ability to set markers, but the uh, like the verb of travel and adventure is baked into the game design. Oh yeah, Outer Wilds was very good about that too. Man. What a what a wonderful like falling down the rabbit hole feeling that whole game was. <clears throat> well Bethesda Game Studios have a return to form with their next two titles, I guess. It depends what that form is, because I can guarantee you they're not going back to Morrowind ever. I'm heartbroken that QuakeCon died from COVID this year. But I promise you if it's back next year I'll bring some LaCroix La and we can do more shots. Yeah. That was very fun. I, I legitimately had the time of my life at QuakeCon 2019. That was that was such a good time. I am hoping that, yeah, by by late 2020, we're good. I'm ready to go back into the world. Getting muted, muted so you can focus on work. All right, get it done. Find those celestial bodies. Oh, that spooky guy. He's holding a knife, which is a really creepy thing for a ghost to hold. I like how there's some sound effects that sound like they were ripped off, ripped off a CD that said like 250 spooky sounds. Maybe that's where they got the the jaguar growl. Drill bit monk, thanks for the sub. Ah, uh, Peerless, thanks for the prime. Blunt dragon, hell yeah. <clears throat> that's a hell of a name. Thank you for the sub. Porcupine bear, thanks for the sub. Captain Chris, thank you. Spacklemore, good to see you. Thanks for the prime. Oh, thank you for thank you for reading the newsletters. I appreciate that. Fried chicken, thank you. DBO, thank you. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to say this. I know reality, or I know Riley. That's as close as I can get. I think I think I got it. Thanks for the prime. On Deadpool, thank you for the uh, thank you for the five gift subs. Little Versailles, thank you for the sub. Swole Kicks, thank you for the prime. Zoot Suit Riot, that's a hell of a. Hell of a reference. Thanks, thanks for the prime. Urban Squatch. Thanks for the sub. Turtle Soup. Thank you. Sort of perp. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, newsletters are still a thing. It does come directly from Twitch. Oh, you have Twitch emails turned off. Well, there, there's your. If you use the the newsletter command, it'll point you to the page where you can turn those back on. Uh, what are you working on now besides streaming? Uh, there's there's like a couple. Oh, this guy's over here now. There's a couple of bitty bits here and there. door won't open. Th that nosy guy g g gave me something really good. Uh, I, I c could let you have it. Does he want the chalky milk? Not for free. Owen, okay. Irish equivalent of John. There's that was a valiant attempt. Got it. Alright, thank you. I'm so, so thirsty. Oh, so it's it's like Owen O'Reilly? Okay. Oh, chocolate. Thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, yeah, okay. He needs the chalky chalk. Thank you very much for correcting my, my pronunciation. I do try my best to get people's names right. So I, I definitely appreciate the, the correction. <sighs> Carbonara, uh, wait. What part of the armed forces are you with? Carborain Super Acid? That is the biggest ass cheer. 
thank you for that extra wide dump truck of a cheer. That's a big cheer, dude. Thank you. Jeez, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, a real wagon cheer. Jory, thanks for the prime. You're simping for me tonight? Hey, feels good. Feels good to be simped. This this is why women do it. Man, it feels good. All I have to do is say tee hee all you gamer boys and you just throw money at me. I remember back when you initially quit RT, you mentioned that a streaming was temporary and you were working on some other stuff that eventually would come to light. Has that happened yet or have I missed some of those projects? No, um, Conang, those got basically put on hold because of COVID. Um, but not canceled. Like a lot of the stuff I was talking about. Oh, I had it on me. Dang it. Most of the stuff that I was in talks with are still things that those parties would like to do. It's just a question of like figuring out how. Because a lot of them involve travel and working with crews and all of this stuff. So, yeah, I will, uh, I'll follow up on that stuff, but. It, it's it's hard to not be fulfilled. Taking taking it easy, playing video games and, and just talking about games with people. That's that's something I, I adore. That, that nourishes me. Um, so I'm I am not in a personal personal rush to uh, to push all that stuff. But yeah, especially today, Mike. <laughs> yeah, uh, Surly Yerby, thank you for the five gifts. Thank you very much. KJ Sandwich, thank you for the sub. Um, somebody asked if they can post the, the Rooster Teeth tweet. Yeah, go for it. Do um, you have any background or whole comments regarding Adam? Mm, I am not making a statement about that. Can we get a clue what the Turing was going to be for? Eh, no. <laughs> no. It was about video games. There's your clue. Oh, man. That was... Awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on it. I like how he couldn't even handle it. He couldn't even hand it to me. Are you still cool with Rahul? Yes. Like this, this is tough because once it starts getting into like bits and pieces, at some point, even, I don't know. Even obvious questions I'm going to have to start saying no to because people are going to start like triangulating shit and chalk, cork boarding it and putting tacks and things and I just don't want it to go there. Um, written in blood opposite where the lake and the house meet inside the hand holding onto the ground. Opposite where the lake and the house meet. I I don't know what that means, but I'll figure it out. Texas Whaley, thanks for the prime. There's like opposite where the lake and the house meet. The lake and the house opposite where the lake and the house meet. Alright, well, the lake is this way, so maybe it'll make sense when I look at it. Erica Rose, thanks for this thanks for the years worth of subs. Damn, thank you very much. Oh, well, we got new enemies. Now this this is a dog who knows how to drink his G fuel. Actually, a lot of these. Get surrounded! Ow! He's chomping on me. He's chomping. Heck, man, you can't go that far away. What kind of game do you think this is? Oh, oh home run swing. Ah, oh. oh. great. Oh. Oh. Yeah, these dogs want to see feet picks real bad. Ow! I love watching games like this, but I don't have the patience to play them. 
to some degree, I, I do appreciate that kind of being one of the virtues of Twitch. I can I can understand maybe not wanting to uh, wanting to like go through that the jank of playing old games like this. Ow! Stop chewing me! And hey, man, if uh, if my temperament allows me to endure janky old games, then I would I'm more than happy to be a tour guide for them. Hey, what's up, Hatter Madigan? Indeed, it is me. Can't wait for the large E-Fuel flavor. Yeah, I guess... Uh, I haven't asked about it. Uh, my, my contact over there basically said, like, once you start moving a certain amount of units or whatever, then, then that discussion starts happening, so... Um, <laughs> the funny thing is, the conclusion for that is that, hey, if you want a Lawrence flavor, you gotta buy a bunch of caffeinated powder, but... I'm not pushing that angle so hard, but that is the truth of it. Ow, 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 stop it. Yeah, buy more G Fuel chat, but again, discount code's going up to 30% tomorrow, so. Tomorrow. Durf, uh, thank you for the sub. I have one question. Any thoughts on the size of the PS5? Hmm, if you describe it in one word, what could it be? Hmm, hmm, that is an interesting question. Hmm. If, if I were to, like, maybe say, like, PS5 blank, some word to describe it, hmm. And you know what would what would really click that together? PS5. PS5 is, is three letters, so a nice three-letter word to describe the PS5. What would that be? Actually, since I'm I'm windowed now, I can do this. What would that be? Let's find. I just let me let me workshop this a little bit. Let me workshop this. Oh wait, no, I can just. trying to think of a I you know what I'll just I'll just hit random buttons on my keyboard and see what happens what does that say I can't see it I just typed something out something random can, can someone t can someone tell me what it says I guess I can't really see chat either but oh it's big big huh ps5 big hmm let me just Hmm. 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 I think it's big. I think PS5 big. I, uh... There were so many good memes back in the day of the Xbox being huge. I am so glad that, uh... Some people who remember the old internet are trying their best to bring it back. Uh, and I appreciate that. Bring back big meme. How dare you not save that? I, uh, I can probably figure out a way to uh, recreate my creative process there. Where the lake opposite where the lake and the house meet. So here's the lake. Opposite the hand that holds the earth. Are you a hand that holds earth? Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking too literal about it. The lake and the house meet. The frustrating thing is, like, it's a globe. Uh, what has four legs at night? Three legs. <laughs> hmm. The hand that holds the earth. Oh, you're right. Somebody did say something about northeast and the opposite of that being southwest. Yeah. I do remember that now. Is that under memo? Where is that? <laughs> ah, okay. As long as the orphanage is in the middle. Lake is in the northwest, so the opposite is the southeast. Only orphanage. Lake's in the okay, so southeast. If you do, if you bring the dug up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Okay. All right. So I guess back towards the beginning of the of the level then. Is it the Junji Ito rock? Uh, it may, it may be. I don't remember there being hands holding earth 
there, but who knows. What do you think of Sekiro? Oh, I love that game. Oh my god. Sekiro was astoundingly good. That's such, an, that's such a layup opinion, though, right? Who's gonna who's gonna say bad shit about Sekiro ever? Listen to Chief Keef. Can't say that I do. I'm not against it, though. I just haven't heard it. Sekiro sucks. Oh! The enforcement's coming out. Coming out swinging. Throwing them bombs. Throwing those haymakers. Came ready to rumble. I appreciate that. Let's see. The hand that holds the earth. Little Splicer Leah. Thank you for the sub. Ah! Durf. Thank you for the sub. Oh, yeah. I got you. Uh, Texas. Thank you for gifting. Laguerre, thank you for the thank you for the resub. What panels would you put on the PS5? Wait, somebody else mentioned removable panels. Are, are the sides removable? Because in that case, I just pop them off and that'd be it. Oh, the white panels are. Yeah, it's like the front plate. What the fuck? What are they? What are they doing? All right. Seems to be easy to remove. Good. I mean, if if it can if it can make the profile of the damn thing smaller, that's all I want. I don't want it to look big. I don't want it to look flashy. I don't care about customizing it. Let's make it not so goddamn gaudy. If I could rip the lights and the two tone paneling off that thing, I would. You can slide them off, though. They help with airflow. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. 3D printing replaceable plates. That's true. Yeah, add bigger sides onto the side of it. Yes. That's the real that's the real play. Give it stilt legs so that it can walk around if it needs to. I do host through Anchor, yeah. I host the podcast through Anchor. I like it. It's it's no frills, it's free. It it automatically puts it on Spotify. So those three things make it very useful. However, I think it it got acquired a few months ago, so people are kind of waiting to see if it's, uh, if it's gonna change as a platform. I don't see any hand holding the earth. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, so spooky. I see you out there. Trying to scare me, trying to spook me a little bit. Hand that holds the earth. I could just be dirt. Hmm. Last game I was legitimately scared by. I mean, there were some spooky moments in the suicide of Rachel Foster, I guess. That was not a great game all around, but some spooky moments. Did you ever play StarCraft on stream? I have. Um, I'm super rusty at StarCraft, though. It's bi-weekly Doom Neck, the talk to the internet podcast, yeah. Luckily, this is not an on week, otherwise we'd probably be doing it right now. And that would be, well, we'd probably just not do it this week. Apple Brappy, thank for the prime. I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen your name, but good to see it again. Did you play PT? Oh yeah, that was awesome. Man, PT was so good. PT, I was definitely scared, but that was six years ago. Ah, oh, the hand that holds the earth, what the hell does that mean? What did you do a playthrough of Eternal Darkness? I don't know. I don't know. I remember that game very fondly. I played it to death when it came out the first time, but... Well, I guess there's always Dolphin. That makes everything really easy. Mm. You want to know we're going to search for yourself? I'm going to keep searching for myself for a little bit. For a little bit. Oops. If you get a tattoo of me, what? We'll you get a job as my assistant. Oh, was this? Oh, probably nothing. 
Oops. Well, oh, whatever. That's actually fine. Uh, no. No, you will only get you will only get the shame of having me on your body. Hmm. Oh, Resident Evil 7 VR. Yeah, I played that entire game in VR, and that was that was very spooky. Oh, Subnautica VR. Ooh. Yeah, things in VR just in generally just in general get can get pretty scarified. Maybe I got my directions off. Because it really does seem like it's it's Lake House and then you have to go back this way, but maybe not. Maybe it's it's down that other path. Oh, get, get, go away. Go away, fly. You're not even a ghost fly. Jeez. Ow. I have Thalassophobia, so Subnautica was only a horror game. What's what's Thalassophobia? I still haven't played Subnautica, which is not good because everyone says it's exactly it's exactly the game that I need or would like. Oh, fear of deep water. Ooh. Okay. Wait a minute. Have I even been through this door? I don't know. I don't think I have. It's all these panthers. Roll. I I think I had mild agoraphobia at some point in my life because I remember I remember like back when I was a kid if there was ever a game or something like that that involved like space flight or being underwater, basically just being in a giant void, it freaked me the hell out. And if there was ever like a day where there were zero clouds in the sky, if I looked up, it like really made me uncomfortable. Just like endless blue kind of freaked me out. It felt like my body was just going to fly into that void and be lost forever a little bit. Um, that sensation still is kind of there. It just got a lot, a lot less intense. As time went on, I did. Uh, the first time that I, I went scuba diving, I kind of had that sensation again. When, and it was like it was it was open ocean diving too, um, which I guess technically wasn't the first time. The first time I did o uh, scuba diving in the ocean, like I hit the water, I kind of like checked all my gear. And then I sort of looked around, and yeah, you're just floating in endless blue. And I was like, huh? And I had to sort of, like, really calm my mind down, because I started to... I could feel, like, a little bit of a panic response sort of rising in myself. Interesting sensation. There's a lot of... a lot of grumbles and gurgles over here. Did it get naturally better for you? It kind of did, yeah. Ah! He was gurgling! Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what changed. I guess all I can figure is it's just like, you know, allergies sometimes go away as you get older. Um, that's kind of what it feels like for me. What the heck do you want from me, dog? Did you ever play the Fear games? Yes. I loved the Fear series. I got allergies when I got older? Yeah, that's, that's the worst way. You don't want things to get more rough the older you get. All right, well, hole entered. Hmm. Very confused what's going on in this game. Uh, yeah, you don't really... You don't really clue into clue into what's going on for most of the runtime of the game. I mean, that's kind of typical horror, though. There is an unexplained phenomenon that you gradually gain understanding and thus some amount of control over as the as it goes along. Yeah, Hammy, this this is a spooky game. Yeah, why hasn't Fear been remastered? Fear is a Warner property now, I think. All right, 
I mostly wanted that ghost to go away. Because I feel like... I hope... I hope that I can... No, ghost! Ghost! Shit. Um... I don't know, man. I'm not... Shit. The hand that holds the earth. Eh, eh, maybe it's not here. Damn, I was convinced for a second. Well, I can still go down that other path where all the... All the gravestones and stuff were. Accelerate, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the resub. Oh, Nero, thank you. Will is dead, thank you for the sub. Uh, Nero, how's it going? It's going pretty well, man. Uh, I don't know. I feel bad about a lot of stuff right now. I've been trying my best to, uh, to reach out to people and make sure that nobody has to, like, deal with shit on their own, but, yeah. I can't, like, I can't complain. I, I've, I've, uh, I've gotten some distance and had time to process some things, maybe some more than other people, so. Oh, Goofy Friends? Yeah? I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I, I look forward to seeing you again. Hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Fat Dan. I mean, it's... That's, yeah. That's the most frustrating thing. Like, the effects on, on me, and the coworkers that I care about, and certainly the, just the, the very good people in the community. And, like, none of them deserve any of this. So... You gotta, you gotta do what you, you can do when you can do it. That's kind of how I would try to live my life. So I'm trying to do that now. Yeah. Kel and Kip deserve all of our sentiment and protection and support. Hand that holds the earth. Alright, maybe that's here somewhere. It can't just be this, right? No. Were Kel and Kip, just members, uh, well, not just, members of the Funhouse community that produced a lot of fan art, so kind of got known for that, just for generally being awesome people. That's one of the cooler things about that whole experience is I just got to meet so many people, so many very good people. Uh, Sleeper Pick Nick, thanks for the sub. Dang it. There's Ghost again. Uh, all right, let me... Let me take another... S I'll just take one more pass through all these areas, because, I mean, I, I did find another door that I haven't even explored yet. Uh, sleeper pick. Thank you for gifting five subs, man. Moldozer, thank you for the prime. Oh yeah, clever foodie, you are the best. I st dude, I still think about that, well, like tofu, tofu chunks and chicken bag. Chicken bag was a good time. Fruit Loops are the worst cereal. Well, you're gonna have to take that shit back. Fruit Loops are whack. What is wrong with you guys? Good lord, Fruit Loops are perfectly acceptable. Jeez. This home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest, so the opposite is the southeast. So it was opposite where they meet. That doesn't make any sense, because they don't meet. And there's verbiage in this notepad about opposites and the direction being opposite. Opposite where they meet. Didn't you already ask so me that? So southeast from where they meet? Is that what you're saying? We'll be playing Witcher 3 again soon. Yeah, pretty soon. I gotta I gotta wrap it up before Cyberpunk, so one way or another, that's gonna happen. Alright, so here's the deal. If Orphanage is here, and this is this is the direction to the lake, then the door I just, well not just, but the last door I came from, this one over here, 
has got to be opposite. I think. That's the other thing, is sometimes... This was still when, like... Translations were not 100%. Translations and localizations were not really 100%. Way better than it was in, like, the... Nine, well, I guess, yeah, this is still, this is safely an aughts game, but way better than it was in the 90s, but it's a little quirk here and there that can really throw off your progress through a game. Yeah, so if this is the opposite, then it's got to be... It's just legs sticking out of the roof. Oh wait, so uh, wait. Maybe I got my maybe I got my doors mixed up. All right, so this is the lake. Why do people keep thinking Cookie Crisp is good? I mean, even as a kid, I couldn't stand it. I guess I shouldn't be here screaming at people about Fruit Loops and then trying to defend or trying to shit on another cereal. So, okay, all right. There's a map. Why don't I use that more? Um, opposite where they meet. Opposite where they meet. What does that even mean? So this, this room would it theoretically be where they meet. Hmm. The great cereal debate. What, what is your S tier cereal? This, this is a deep cut. And not, not a lot of people really go here, but I'm gonna go here. Um, cause this is actually the real shit. This is a little secret. It's, it's O's. It's O's. Yep. O's. This is the real shit right here. This is it. It's actually this. Um, this is actually the best cereal, believe it or not. Uh, it's got the texture. I'm, I'm a fan of honey, so that's me. Um, but this is the real stuff. Also, don't sleep on this one. Raisin Bran, kind of an old dad cereal. Raisin Bran Crunch, though. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, that's it. That's it. So that, those are my S-tier picks, I would say. Okay, so the opposite absolutely has to be this. Kix? Oh. Everyone got tricked into to eating Kix once. All right, well, I'll, I guess I'll I'll clear these zones out then. Slam the fuel! Kicks are great. I don't know about that, man. I think... <laughs> Juice the G! I think you gotta... I think you gotta really be into just corn. Which, I mean, if you're an American, you have to be into corn regardless, because it's, it's in everything we eat, but... Uh-oh. Henry's in trouble. I like that sound, though. Oh, that pro gamer dodge, though. <laughs> leftovers from dinner are the best cereal, if we're being completely honest. I've done that a lot. I'll have, like, leftover leftovers from dinner, and then I'll just, like, put an egg on top. Boom, it's breakfast. <laughs> just one, like... Like, over medium egg. If you put an egg on top of anything, it makes it better and breakfast. And yes, that also includes bowls of cereal. Uh, okay. Steak and eggs, yeah. There's been some time where I've just had, like, steak or meat left over from, from dinner. And then I have a couple of preps. Like, one is just throw an egg on top and you're done. Another is, like, to cube it. And then I'll, like... I'll, like, soften a little garlic and diced onion. And then throw whatever you have in there and then crack like two eggs in it and boom you got breakfast pretty hearty breakfast too depending on what you get in there microwave some mcdoubles that you didn't get to last night oh man yeah the that's that's some heavy fuel if you're if you're eating microwave to mcdonald's the day after that's like you're yeah that's that's some like that's some hangover powder
opposite where the lake and the house meet. I've been saying that so much. Leftover Taco Bell is amazing. What? Hatter? Really? To me, Taco Bell has a shelf life of about 30 minutes. And then all of the, like, when the crispiness goes, like, Taco Bell succeeds in, in texture and mouthfeel. And, uh, that, that really goes downhill once it's been sitting for a while. For me, anyway. So, let me... I have one more theory about what that could mean. Is the info that's coming out part of the reason you left Funhouse? Um, that is a complicated question that I can't really give a yes or no to. Um, and I can't really give an answer to that that won't just lead to more questions. Um, I was unhappy there. And a factor of that is the actions of people that I worked with. So, that's about as cleanly as I can say it. But that was like, that was obvious. You know, that's not new information. I've been pretty, I think, transparent about that. He's just not saying anything. Okay, I wanted to hear him again, but... Oh, if Joel left based on action of the people who were there, you'll have to ask him. I would, you want me to speak on behalf of somebody else? That's not cool. Okay, so... Opposite of where the lake and the house meet. So maybe it's just like the southeast corner of one of these, one of these rooms. Between the lake and the house. Maybe that's what they mean. That's the only other idea I can possibly have. But there's really nothing here. Old people cereal is the best cereal. What, like grape nuts? Corn flakes? I will say there, I mean, I did just get done dunking the shit out of kicks. But a normal bowl of corn flakes or bran flakes, honestly, yeah, I'm kind of into it. Um, yeah. Th actually, Re Ryu drinks the dew is is actually dead on. Yeah, brand flakes are actually actually real shit. Corn, corn grape nuts though. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Will you a hand that holds the earth? Lawrence, can you go to every detail about your relationships with each and every person of RT? Yeah, luckily I actually kept a diary. Um, so. I can break it out by day, and here we go. Day one. <clears throat> we announced Funhouse today. I can't wait for everything to be great forever. Alas. These pipes do. Damn it. Mmm. Mmm. What up? What are you up to now in post house? Pretty much this. Pretty much this. I'm had some other things going on. COVID had other ideas. Since then, I've participated in a few projects, but I've been pretty happy, just kind of like focusing on diet, focusing on like mental wellness. Yeah, li living the dream, really. No, no, uh, no two ways about that. Oh, okay. I'm getting close to needing to look it up. I feel like I've. Uh, I feel like I've explored all of my options. I don't know. Does any, if anyone in chat knows and wants to try, toss me a cryptic hint, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, Ludus. I, I was really glad that John asked me to be in that. What's your calorie intake now? I'm trying to hit 1,500 a day. With with some days where I just slip to like a 2,000. 2,100. Here's a hint left. All right, well, there's only a couple of lefts. Yeah, 1500 is, is hard. It basically requires me to have absolute control over the time that I eat and what I eat. That was kind of the, uh... Oh, don't take your hint seriously, damn it. Oh, I was gonna go check over here anyway. Yeah, roots of a tree. That's kind of what I was thinking. That makes sense, hands that hold the earth. But any, like, conspicuous tree that I found, I definitely try to 
thought I tried to use the spade on, and uh, to no to no avail. So the neutral stuff, or something based on healthy principles. Healthy principles, yeah. Basically, like going through neutral system was good because it gave me, it forced me to adopt the tools that I need to be able to hit low calorie counts, and also like part of being on a program made me feel made me feel like. Because the first week of Nutrisystem, you're on a thousand calories a day, and that was uh, that was rough. And I don't know that I could have gotten through that without some assurance that it was like a plan that people had devised, and it wasn't just me crash dieting myself. I probably would have freaked out. But I got through it, and in that process, sort of came to a lot of understandings about the sensation of hunger and how my body reacts to food on an intellectual level, not necessarily an emotional one. So that was a uh, that was really useful and super educational. And I, I took a lot of those lessons into, I think, being a little more free about um, about my diet. Or rather, free about the control of my diet. But still, like, I still use a calorie tracking app and uh, fill in the gaps with as many vegetables as I can. That's kind of the, that's, that's the real trick, really. Just eating a shitload of vegetables. And staying away from, like, foods prepared in a lot of oil. I mean, really, the trick is prepare all your food yourself. That way you know exactly what's in it, and so your calorie counts are, are dead on the mark. <sighs> Alright, I don't know where to go. Um, hold on. Oh, we're gonna do it again! I used- this used to gall me so heavily, um... Of looking up walkthroughs. I mean, it was like I failed as a gamer, but man, if I can't even, we're just we're gonna go full classic with this. I feel like at this point I'd just be bouncing around over and over and over again. There it is, final 2007. All right, Subway World, Forest World. Chalky Milk. Port of Monaco Kid. Hold on, get back to your apartment. You pretty much give it to the return area. He's in the grave in the south side. Lock and you go back. Return to the orphanage. Speak with Jasper. Friend Jasper is very thirsty. He's chocolate. You know, it's a great to return. I have some chocolate milk and a blood and scrap spade. This time, take a lower right or southeast door. There are four of these monstrous canines. A couple of buzzers going around. Watch for the one dog that has somewhat red tint to it. There's more powerful version than the normal ones. Go through the next area. After this, you'll find yourself in front of a large, off looking tree. On the back of this tree, there are some hands coming up from out of the ground. You're just spade here to dig up the rest of the lake. God damn it. Okay, so my intuition was right. I guess there was just a, a weird tree down here somewhere. How did I not see that? Well, the ASCII calligraphy? Oh, yeah. People people have done some beautiful, beautiful stuff with uh, ASCII art and game facts. Uh, I keep wanting to start streaming, but I'm curious what helped you come out more as a person in videos and in streaming. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, finding a finding a camera persona or really like tuning your personality to be on camera is that's kind of just a process of of practice, trial and error. And for me, a lot of those errors were very visible. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just practice, really. Why not just be yourself? Because people don't... Hmm. <laughs> if you're normal... Camera camera has a way of, like, making normal people sound boring as hell. And that's... To be honest, it's, it's kind of most Twitch streamers. Because they are just themselves. Which is fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But... There's, there's a... There's a fine line between finding just the right amount of juice... To dump on yourself or finding the parts of yourself that you really want to the parts that you want to amplify and the parts that you want to sort of quiet down yeah it's not captivating exactly um so it's i think it's a mix of just finding the aspects of your per, your person that you can genuinely show the world and the aspects that uh is this it oh it's this is the weird tree right uh, what are you doing? Uh, 
Yeah, I guess I never... <gasps> Boy, is that... Is that... The memories are coming back. Boy, are they coming back. Just because you didn't walk in that one little pixel and the camera didn't click over. Yeah, the camera fucked me. That's the game. That's the game. That's Silent Hill. Um... That's what you're signing up for. The holder of this key will wander for eternity. Oish. Yep. An R plus searching and it was right there. Yep. Oh shit. Oh boy. I guess I guess strobe warning. We're in full cinematic territory now. It's good to separate yourself from your on-screen persona, even if it's a part of you, so you don't feel tied to a bad portion and don't allow yourself room for growth. Yeah, public. Yes. And I, I think, like, this is something I've seen happen in Dungeons & Dragons, too, where if you... Here's the deal. If you, like, legitimately put yourself out there, then when somebody talks some shit to you, they're talking shit directly to you. Um, and and I've seen this happen in D&D in &D a little bit, where, like... I've fallen into this too, and I've seen it happen with other people, that the first time you like role play, which is kind of like being on camera, you get to pretend to be somebody else or or do little tweaks to your personality. Um, if you try to present the idealized version of yourself or the, the version of yourself you think you are, and then other people start telling you or reacting to that in a way that doesn't make sense to your internal narrative or, or your uh, the way that you evaluate your own persona, people react very strongly to that. Um, so if you just throw yourself in front of an audience and you're like, hey, it's just me playing games and somebody walks along and they're like, you're shit at games or you look like ass or you're a like anything that random internet people say, oh, fuck, I'm wandering for eternity. Um, said so something about you have to put it back. Huh. You have to separate yourself from your personality. Yes. And I think you have to develop the tools to, it's a sieve uh, or, or more like maybe like a one way valve. You have to see how people react and tune the way you behave around that, but also understand that some people are gonna react certain ways to something and there's nothing you can do to change it. So honestly, that was a lot of a lot of my process in the early days of Funhouse was putting myself out there, um, kind of being being loud and aggressive and obnoxious because that was there was sort of an, an empty hole for that. All the cool dude nerd personas were taken so i was like well i want to make sure that i'm uh do you have to like put a different key there i wanted to make sure i was contributing hmm oh i i get it i get it you got to put the key in the room and then go back to the room from another hole uh so basically i would i would act a fool on camera and yeah i wasn't so angry in real life but uh I would act a fool on camera, but you know there were there were ele there were elements of me in there still. So it was interesting to see the way people were, ways people reacted to that. Um, specifically, the fact that people knew they didn't like it, but they didn't quite have the tools to elocute why, which is fine. They don't have to. That's my job. So um, I'll blink twice if enter the hole has a double meaning. I mean, I'll give you two big ones right now. But uh, so that was that was kind of the process I guess is is sort of and I, I think another part of, of being on camera is having the the resilience to watch yourself and not cringe out of your own skin because that's a big part of it too um, no one you know that whole thing of like no one likes the way that they sound on, on recordings or no one likes the way that they seem on camera because you're kind of forced to acknowledge that like maybe you are low energy or maybe you are a little cringy and all that stuff so that was kind of the process for me, is is seeing the feedback to myself. Um, see, like, kind of trying... Trying my best to understand why people reacted the way they did, because you have to trust your gut sometimes. If you watch something and you're like, I don't like that guy, and that guy is also you, and you're like, well, shit, okay, I'm unlikable on camera. Like, <laughs> you kind of gotta... Got to embrace that and be like, okay, what is not likable about that? Blink twice if you think I'm cool. Here's another two big ones. There you go. 
So, uh, I think uh, that's kind of the process I went through, I think. Um, I think I hate myself enough already to never see myself on camera or stream. Yeah. It's, it's interesting, Toe Cutter, because when you say it like that, it sounds like the inverse is you have to love yourself to be on camera. I think to some degree that's true. I think if somebody has self-esteem issues uh, or... Uh, yeah, self-esteem issues. Um, then those things... those th The camera will pick up all those things. Uh, which I think you can also read a little bit back into, you know, 2015 Lawrence. Uh, there was a, a divorce had done a number on my self-esteem and self-respect and to some degrees I was I was very loudly self-destructive uh, because that's how I was coping so yeah weird process weird thing to do that to be to be in a place where you're on camera going through that but yeah value yourself yeah uh, I like to think that I'm in a place now where I do value myself maybe not in love with myself Matthew Mercer has self-esteem issues and even body dysmorphia, but he's doing pretty well for himself on camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it as long as you can I think it's having awareness of those things because I think a lot of people were I think a lot of people were are in places where they have like issues um, Confidence issues just issues of any kind that um can can change or alter their lives. Uh, I th it's an illusion to think that any of us have ourselves completely figured out. So I always remind myself of that. But I get the impression from your attitude that you're happy with who you are, and I think that's why a lot of us like watching you. Yeah, reclaimer. So yeah, you're 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 zeroing in on on some of the things I slowly started to figure out. Is that people people like to surround themselves with. The kinds of people that either represent the qualities they want to find in themselves, or qualities that are are calming, or uh, um, relaxing, and and like projecting nervousness, or um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I, I I see black mages. I'm gonna leave that there because uh, well, just just. Well, I don't do that. I don't do that so much anymore. And that's not an open invitation for other people too either. I don't want this to start running away. I don't want to have to start start timing out and banning people uh, to get the to to get it away from references. But uh, I lost my point now. Anyway, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, which is is interesting because I think like kind of going back to some of the other. Ooh, you found a lessee yet? How's Walter's progress coming? Was Alessa the child from the first Silent Hill? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, thank you, Bitters. I, I think the inverse can happen with that too, is when you see somebody that you view as the embodiment of all the virtues about yourself that you want to believe, and then you find out that's actually not a thing, um, or that that was all an illusion, that, that, can be very, that can be very personally destructive. Which is why it's, you know... It's 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 easy to say it now, but that's why uh, that's why it's dangerous to sort of pattern self improvement off of off of uh, other people. Just in general, you can even take the parasocial aspects out of it. The second sign, and God said, "Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of heaven." From the darkness and void, bring forth gloom, and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign, and God said, return to the source through sin's temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon wanderer, alone in the formless chaos. Only then will the four atonements be in alignment. Christ, we got another puzzle. We got another big puzz. Is this the Silent Hill with the monsters that look like uncircumcised penises? I don't know. I think that might have been too. Are you referring to the uh, the gentleman that was very adamant that Silent Hill was about genital mutilation? 
about the devil <sighs> part of me part of me kind of likes the idea that if you just don't go in that room he's just on fire forever until the burned corpse of a 30 year old male was discovered earlier today the police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating the numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Walter Sullivan, you say? Perhaps that's a name that will be more important in the near future. What's with these numbers? These are all mysteries. Oh, somebody was talking about gynomastia? That's the, um, what, just the fear of, of female genitalia, right? Did you ever play PT? Oh, yeah. This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? I'll see you, son. Praise me. me. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Room. I think of picking this up from good old games. Let is it running good? Or is it the MGS drops from last week? I mean... It runs as well as a PC port from Konami runs. They they did as much brushing up as they could. So it supports widescreen, you know, by default. It supports windowed, which the original did not. What's going on here? It supports a controller, which the original did not. Uh, so, believe it or not, um, this is actually a pretty good brush up of this game. I am playing with the controller, yeah. So, uh, oh, Fringe, thanks for the Prime sub. Uh, 50 Grit, thanks for the Prime. Avinity, thank you. Will VOV, thanks for the Prime. El Noe, thanks for the Prime. Sort of Dead Fred, thank you for the Prime. Jag Hata Hataikon? Jag Hataikon, hmm. Thank you for the Prime. Mr. Kells, thank you. Jaraxxus, thank you. General Hunter Gatherers, thanks for the Prime. Bulldogs, thank you. Sorry, there's so many, so many names I'm getting. Oh, Reclaimer, thank you for the 10 big subs, dude. Getting pog bombed. Pog bomb. Joseph, thank you for the sub. Cuccino, thanks for the prime. Ginger, I know. Back then. Thanks. Bob the Blast Toys, thanks for the prime. <sighs> gotta keep my gotta keep my name reading up. Mass Tech Prince, thank you for the prime. Hey. Thank you guys. Doing my doing my Twitchly duties. And reading off lists of names. Sorry, you guys aren't lists. I appreciate it. Is there a way to change your twi Twitch name? Oh yeah, people do people do it frequently. It can be a little a little confusing, but yeah. Okay, uh, I think it's time to switch up games, you guys. I'm gonna move over to Crash Bandicoot Four. Cra yeah, your dollar signs. You're not a list. You're just money. I look at Twitch chat, and I see all these names, and I can't read a single one because it's just mounds of dollar signs, and I love it. <laughs> I was hoping to watch this. Ah, oh, Mars I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to check out. I want to check out. Uh, I want to check out Crash though. Uh, I think I'm gonna come back to this because really, like, if if I don't let myself get lost for hours, if I just click over to a to a walkthrough, if I get stuck, I think that uh, I think it'll go by pretty quickly. But uh, in the meantime. Crash 4 is good. Yeah. I'm, I've am i heard a lot of good things about it, which I'm kind of surprised about, but that's great. So, yeah, the big cash money. The crash money, even. And I... Ooh, Black Mage. Thanks for the... Thanks for the... Thanks for the donation. Sorry for being an infinite. Love you. It's... I was ready for it. I was ready for it. So, it's it's all right. I think... I think... People are going to throw some tomatoes. It's, it's just the way of the world. 
Uh, all right, so uh, see you guys in just a second. I gotta actually. I think I have to move a console over. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. But uh, I'll be right back. So uh, in the meantime, just because we got a lot of new people, a uh, bit of a break here, ten minutes or so, maybe fifteen, to get the new stuff set up. Um, but in the meantime, random clips. So if that feels like good background noise to you. Please stay tuned. Be back with you guys in just a second. 